ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time friend. for yeah. you to get your just do. Yeah, you know the deal. We back again. Yo. A round of applause for Jersey's finest. A lot of content creators not worthy, but they minus. They get offended and start singing like the whiners. Talking like they tough, but it's only screaming and whining. My homie just do us the catch you don't come to Your squad get run through By the time you come to you duck food You suckers talk tough on the internet Revealing all your threats Now we got you trapped in the net Just do be on this grind Y'all better hustle up You dead lifted 90 pounds We doing muscle ups There's really no comparison His voice sound like a derringer Throwing a towel that's just embarrassing My dog just very philosophical And psychological and he mixed it all with good boxing news. These YouTubers feel like Bishop, I guess they got the juice. But it's lonely at the top to just to feel like child abuse. Be respectful, he don't want to talk wild and loose. If you can't relate, you get dismissed like a mild dispute. These weird cats would tell lies, did they didn't hide the truth. Why beyond views, you lose your life when you collide with dude. It's just do boxing. Or you cowards quit jocking. Kirk is official with no other options. Yeah, yeah. You know the deal. Judah Ben, we in the spot. Just do boxing. Yeah. And of course, shout out to Mrs. Do. Holding the whole family down. Word them up, word them up. Feeling like you can go take undisputed? For sure. Even if it's 75 25? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's the issue right there. I know what I'm worth. I know who I am. I know, like, at the end of the day, you're not going to tell me, oh, we're going to offer 25% to Shakur. Yeah. But we're going to give this person this much, or we're going to give this person this much. And we, that, that's not even right. You're only doing that because you don't want to fight me. It's basically a, a move for, for the public, I guess. Yeah. Because I, I pressed them out. Yeah. Since I pressed them out. And nobody else pressed them out. Send them some bottles at camp. Nobody else went and pressed them out. <laughs> I went and pressed them out. Yeah, yeah. So now yeah. he's trying to be petty and funny by sending me some little, some yeah. little chump change. What's good? What's good? Salute to the family on this good Thursday. We back to get boxing as just do. Unbiasedly, narrative free. Y'all already know if you're catching this on the playback, tap in, sub to the channel, turn your notifications on, and definitely smash that like button. Come be a part of the conversation. Come holler at the family, and we going to build, man. Salute to everybody pulling up. Y'all know how we do. It's our time to take over the airways for a couple hours. You know, we're going to build a little bit. We're going to talk. We're going to talk about this, this new uh, false narrative that's out here. But we're going to talk about some other some other stuff as well, man. <clears throat> some other boxing conversations. Pardon me, man. My voice always going right as soon as I get on here. Big Texas, what's good with the family? How you feeling, man? Dante, all boxing talk. What's good, bro? How you feeling? Mike Kirkland, my brother. What's good, Mike? How you feeling? Miss Joe S, salute to the queen. Good to see you in the building. Safe travels on that road. Rob, what's good, family? Appreciate you stopping through. Judah Ben, my bro, what's good with it, fam? Thomas Hill, my guy, what's good, bro? Much love to the Brody, man. Pat Patrick Bell, what's good with it, Pat? How you feeling, bro? And what's good with it, man? Salute to the fam, man. Y'all, y'all sock the like button out for you, bro, man. If y'all haven't, man, punch that like button. 
we gonna talk about it we gonna cook we gonna build um <laughs> for starters for starters man the, the the thought the thought the thought process like it's like where do you even start with this right where do you even start low what's good with silver out of low what's good with it bro yeah right <clears throat> that's what they want you to believe rob they want you to believe that <laughs> they definitely want you to believe it then realistic the more realistic than that. not rock or steven silver Mar. that ain't happening bro the, it, and it's not more realistic why would a fight with a guy that's not even in the weight class be more realistic than the guy that's in the weight class Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin both at 35 Navarrete still at 30 get what I'm saying so it's not more realistic what you I know you probably feel like it's a good fight I do too but Navarrete Navarrete you know he still got some work to do at 30 so we'll we'll see but I mean whenever he get up to 35 I definitely be be you know definitely want to see the fight for sure for sure yeah you already know dante i we got to talk about it and again um i'm gonna say this if if i hear a false narrative out there and it's about things that we discuss i'm going i'm going to do my best to shoot it down it doesn't matter what fighter that the, the narrative is attached to i just i'm not a fan of false narratives you get what i'm saying and for for starters it's like where do you start with, with this mess right First things first, you know, you, you want to rewind. And it, it's sad that people are still going through this. But when he said 25%, nobody could tell you 25% of what, of what to start right there, just to start right there. 25% of what? You get what I'm saying? 20, 25% of what? And, and now the narrative is that Shakur turned down $8 million, right? And they're telling you Devin Haney would have been making $25 million to fight Shakur, a guy who, by their logic, tells you don't sell. So for one, you're telling me a guy that don't sell, that means they don't even know if they're going to get a return on their investment. So you're telling me that the promoter and Bob Aram, the stingiest, one of the stingiest promoters in boxing, you're telling me. He's going to be willing to not only pay Shakur Stevenson $8 million, who they say can't sell, when realistically he sell more tickets than Devin Haney outside the pay-per-view. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about putting asses in seats, right? And not only that, he's going to then triple, triple the amount on the other side and pay Devin Haney $25 million to fight Shakur Stevenson, all because he has belts. You have got to be kidding me if you fucking believe that. That, that's the saddest shit I ever heard in my life. You're telling me Bob Arum is going to put up $33 million to see Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney fight? Who the hell believes that? How do you believe something like that? Like, where do you even go to believe? Like, how, what kind of brainwashing is going on where you can really believe that? Hey, $8 million, bro. <laughs> Yo, what? What? Man, so you're telling me this man, they're going to pay him. Terrence Crawford and and Earl Spence money? You can't be you can't be serious, bro. <laughs> OZ Boxing Twenty Two, what's good, my bro? Good to see you in the building, man. He was good, family. How you feeling? It's the old Canelo, not the old Canelo. <laughs> Charlo may win, <laughs> right? I get what you mean, right? He definitely got a good chance, man. He definitely got a good chance, man. He was good with you, bro. Good to see you in the building. Right. Um, I think it's I think it's some of both of and, and I think it's some of both boxing one on one. What's good with it, family? Jay Grant was good with it. The network put up the money, not Bob. So you telling me the network is gonna put up thirty three million dollars, Jay? You telling me now I know that, but again, this was all about Bob. This was Bob that made the offer. So I'm going off their logic. So I, let's make sure you you know what conversation we having and why I'm saying exactly what I'm saying. Cause we we gotta we gotta make it make sense. Cause the the, the fans don't know who they want to say the money is coming from. Cause they telling me it's coming from Bob Aram, just like the twenty five percent did. They said it came from Bob Aram, not Bill Haney, and not Dev. You get what I'm saying? So, and, and regardless of what, thirty three million dollars for this fight? Who believes it? J A Dixon, what's good with it, my bro? Fate, my guy, what's good, Brody? How you feeling? What's good, Jay? Get what I'm saying? 
You get what I'm saying? Let's make sure we 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 stay the course. They want us to believe that this fight that they said is not is not ready right now. Not only is it not ready, but it's also worth thirty three million dollars. That that tells me right there is worth that. Who would turn down that type of money? Why wouldn't people want to be part of a fight that's capable of, of you know, because obviously if you're going to pay that type of money, that means it's going to generate some big numbers. Who would turn that down? Why wouldn't they be itching to make that fight? You get what I'm saying? It's brainwashing. I'm telling you, in full effect. I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't run with that. I can't run with it. Can't run with it, bro. Can't. Seven mil total. You get what I'm saying, uh, Mister Plus Three Hundred. And, and, but but let let them tell it. You get what I'm saying. One guy and Shakur Stevenson, the guy that by their logic they say he can't sell. They're gonna pay the guy that they don't even know if they're gonna get a return on their investment. They're gonna pay him eight million dollars, right? For another guy, that's not a huge draw. Like that makes a lot of sense business wise, don't it? it which is exactly why we're gonna see the fight because it make all the sense in the world. These people, hell, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. And what's good with it, my bro? How you feeling about that opportunity to make Pacquiao Crawford and didn't want to lose money? Ain't no way in hell he'd make Devin and Shakur happen if the money is a concern. You dig what I'm saying? It's just not happening, bro. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. You get what I'm saying? It, it, it's just not happening. So you're telling me that we barely won eight million in last fight on pay per view, <clears throat> and it, and now twenty five percent is eight million a fighter. You get what I'm saying? Who in the hell? Who in their right mind? Like I'm just sorry, I can't, I can't go with that. That I don't care how you try to doctor it up, spin it, you know, dress it. It, it just, it's not possible, yo. It's not possible. You're not nobody in the world can convince me that that fight. It's worth that much money. I swear, it's just no way. And again, this is the same Shakur Stevenson that by their logic said didn't prove anything. He fought 20 nobodies and he ain't did nothing but fight a hibachi chef or a restaurant worker since he got the 135. That's the guy that they're going to pay $8 million, right? Ain't no way in hell, man. Ain't no way in hell, man. People got to stop, wake up, smell, smell, smell the coffee, man. Smell the narratives when they being driven. I'm sorry. That's just another false narrative. It's bad for the sport, bro. It's bad for the sport. Can't nobody give you no realistic, you know, explanation as where these wild ass numbers going to come from. Just a week or two ago, they didn't even know what 25% of what was coming from. But now you fast forward to today. Now and everybody's mathematicians and they know how much this fight is going to generate and how much guys is going to going to make based off what uh, assumption. This is you can't make this up. Yo. You can't make this stuff up. People be tripping, bro. I swear, man, narratives are not good for the sport. They ruin it, bro. They ruin the sport, yo. They ruin the sport. They ruin it. It seemed like, and again, this is how, I'm bring me back to my point. This is how you know Shakur Stevenson is not only a threat, he's a major threat because people are going out of their way to try to make him look bad. And you would think by now y'all would have moved on from this, from the slander and moved on to Regis. But it seemed like y'all more focused on Shakur Stevenson then then y'all are Regis program. You get what I'm saying? Who's growing tired of y'all games too? You get what I'm by the way. Same wrong with Ely Just. You know how that is go. Drake said, you know what I mean? Yeah, they can't push, they can't push them, bro. They can't push them narratives, Thomas. Not over this way. Not over this way, bro. Not over this way. They're not paying no $33 million, bro. I mean, I wouldn't blame Eddie Hearn. I just because again. This is just this is just a narrative that's that's out of the out out of wow, yo, it's out of people's. You get what I'm saying? Eh, it's really not Eddie. It ain't Eddie Hearn because Eddie Hearn ain't got nothing to do with this particular situation, right? The, the people are pushing the hell out of it. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it's sad because it's it's just logic, bro. You're not paying that much for that fight. It's just that simple. You telling me Devin Haney gonna make Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence money? Why? Why? How? Based off what? That, that shit is mind blowing to me. Salute to my bro Mike Kirk and putting that color in the chat with the five piece. Since I didn't have a father growing up, that's why I'm a Haney hater. Like they say, <laughs> Devin can't lose fast, fast enough, in my opinion. I'm telling you, man, they 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 make this stuff weird, man. It's just no way I can I can wake up today and believe a narrative that egregious. Like it's no way. There's and we ain't no never way, got man. a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time year. for you to get your just do. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to mean it. 
the more you the more the narratives are pushed the worse it looks for the fighter because it bole what's good with it my bro how you feeling because if 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 the fighter was nearly as good as what y'all are, are portraying them as you wouldn't have to create narratives that that tear down other fighters you get what i'm saying like you can't make this stuff up you really can't bro the <laughs> lol dad was gonna get 24 for a fight yeah right you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying divine man come on man come on bro and albert einstein with this map they don't how did they get eight mil for 25 percent it's bogus bro so just blame his, his knees of overinflated sense of worth have you heard in match room yeah they i mean <clears throat> they're <clears throat> they're responsible for you know who they pay and how much they pay them and things like that but in terms of this particular situation, it wouldn't have nothing to do with it. This is just simply people drawing a narrative that make things, you know, make a fighter look a certain way. Said one said, said it though, fam. Shakur team. The one, no, he did it. They, oh, again, man. Did y'all listen to it, yo? Did y'all listen to it? Please don't tell me y'all ain't listen to it and y'all listening to like some secondhand information. Y'all ain't listen to it yourself, yo. Shakur, Shakur. And, and the dude is not on Shakur's team, yo. I promise y'all that. He's not. He's not on Shakur's team. The guy that said that is not on Shakur's team. And he never said he turned down $8 million. He never said that. That's another thing. They just said, I don't know where y'all was listening at. Maybe y'all didn't listen to the right information, but that's another lie. That guy is not from his team. Why do you think a random ass dude that's calling in is going to be a representative of his team and, and know the business side of it? And be speaking randomly on a podcast, a guy that none of us could tell us the guy's name. Anybody knows the guy's name? Don't you think at least we would get the guy's name? That that man, this shit, this shit is out of control. Kirk Douglas was good with it, my bro. Ashley's corner was good with it, cuzzo. How you feeling? Like that's that dude is not on Shakur's team. He's not. What the hell? That dude, and he ain't came up there with a hypothetical at that. He said hypothetically. So I think that's where they draw the conclusion from. But it's still wild to do that. It's wild. Who, who's going to believe that? You think that guy that got up on there on the I think the boxing voice you talking about is going to represent Shakur in that manner. You, you think he is involved in the business aspect of his career? If at all, he sound like a dude that just rock with him. That's what he sound like. That's not nobody in his team. What's his name? What's his position in his team for him to know that information? Ain't no way in hell, bro. That shit is wild to me. Yo, yeah, that, people are run with anything. Mm hmm. Right. It's also based off his sales. That's true indeed. That's true indeed. That's true. I'm just hoping to catch it like wildfire. I'm telling you, bro, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy the fact that. Like let's let's let let's let's stay within the realm of logic and reason. Do you really think that fight is worth thirty three million dollars? Thirty three million dollars. Man, that's crazy, man. That that's that that's wishful thinking at best. It, there's just no way. There's just no way, man. He's just putting numbers out there. Best case scenario. Salute to P Hunter. Salute to P Hunter. That is a fact, man. That is a fact. You're just putting the numbers out there, bro. It just it wasn't no real situation. Like, how would y'all? How would people even know that? And they didn't even get to the negotiations at all. How in the hell can people possibly come up with the random ass numbers and and they be valid? They be something people is taking as the gospel. How? They didn't even get to negotiate how the hell, what are people breaking down? Where are they drawing these wild ass numbers from? The fact that people think they will pay him Earl Spence money to fight Shakur Stevenson is wild to me. It's wild to me. That is so wild, man. Yeah, salute, salute, salute. Gertz, what's good with it, bro? What's good with it? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Devon is getting wild out here, bro. That man hit him with a, a hypothetical. Marquay was good with it, bro. How you feeling? Appreciate you pulling up. He said, like the neurological doctor. I mean, pretty much, man. You could throw him in there too, though. You could throw him in here too. His word. And again, when I played that, because I played that, when I played that, I didn't pass his word as gospel either. You get what I'm saying? So just to be clear on that, I'm telling you, bro. Facts, Thomas, it was wild, bro. That's that, that Al Booker was good with it, family. How you feeling, bro? Appreciate you sliding through. It's crazy. <clears throat> you went from a low ball 25% who know who 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 we come to find out right from the promoter had no substance. Then you would think they would have left the situation and alone. Nah, that's not enough. 
fighting Regis ain't enough. Now nah, we got to revisit this again, and we got to tell everybody how Shakur Stevenson turned down eight million dollars, and, and Devin Haney walked away from uh what twenty four twenty five million. So that's what he let he let that off the table. He didn't even what he wasn't even willing to negotiate with the man and his team. Uh, it's crazy to me. It, it's it's crazy, and boxing is a weird space. The face of that. A lot of narrators, these YouTube streets. And man, I'm telling you one thing. I'm telling y'all right here, right now. No matter how spooky it's getting, man, I'm not put. I'm not. I'm not creating no narratives, bro. And and telling them to the people. I, I just don't. I'm never doing that. How would any promotional company get that money back if they giving out 32 million up front? <laughs> up front, no hate. And Bo just not a huge draw yet. Nah, nah, nah. And that's the that's truth though. Uh, Devon, you're not saying I'm wrong. You're not saying I'm wrong. That's exactly why this fight wouldn't be worth that much money because they're not huge draws. You get what I'm saying? That that that's real talk right there, bro. That's real talk. Cousin says Shakur is hanging at the time offered is worth 10 million max, and that includes the money that's gonna go in and buy a pocket. You dig what I'm saying, Cuzzo? Come on, man. Mm-hmm. You know it, Dante. Listen, man, over here, I just put out the news accordingly, man. I never push no narratives. I don't I don't do that type of stuff, man. I just call it how I see it and I speak on what I can speak on, man. And you know, to the extent that I understand. You get what I'm saying? I just don't make stuff up, bro. I, I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. A1 Hoop Zone, my bro. What's good with it, man? Yeah, it's spooky out in this street, out, out in these YouTube streets. D1, my bro, they don't know what hypotheticals is. Yeah, that, and that dude is not, I, re, I repeat, he's not on Shakur's team. He is not. Think about it. You've never heard him speak for him. You think he's going to come speak now in a situation like that and have the valid information needed to speak on that? And why would he be speaking it to them? And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time for you is. to get your just do. Salute to my bro, man. That was that advocate, Devin Duck. This is the largest bag ever by not fairly negotiating. Talk to him. Talk to him, uh, Quay. Talk to him, bro. Talk to him. Hey, if you want to be honest, you know what I mean? It was a hedge fund in Saudi Arabia. I know that because of two late capital told me. <laughs> yeah, P. Quincy Carter, what's good with it? Quincy says, you're looking crazy right now. Let's see how I defend this one. It ain't nothing to defend, bro. I'm going to just say this, Quincy. If you think he looked crazy because you believe he turned down $8 million, that would mean that you believe that he was going to get paid 8 and Devin was going to get paid 25 So that means the pot would be $33 million. So if you're thinking, and this again, if, you're, if your Shakur is looking crazy based on what you said because you believe that he turned down $8 million. That will also mean that you believe Devin Haney was going to get paid 25. And that will also mean that you believe that the fight is, is worth a total of $33 million. So what's more crazy to believe that or you get what I'm saying? <laughs> or, or to believe Shakur never, they, how would you even know that if they never negotiated, they'd even get to that part of it because they walked away. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Cut creator, salute my bro. How you feeling? Appreciate you pulling up. That means I open for your person with that. One. Yeah, 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 yeah. They said they um, they said they paid him um, they overpaid him. He was uh grossly overpaid. They said, you know what I'm saying? They said he was grossly overpaid. I think some people are Jay. I think some people are now. I mean, I, I ain't gonna say who, but I, I think some people are. And that and the dude and the dude is um not on Shakur's team. I repeat again, bro. That dude is not on Shakur's team. He's not. I, I know y'all would like to think that because it would make it easier to believe the lie if it was coming from his team, but it's not. That dude, what's his name? Can somebody tell me his name? Anybody, please. Can somebody tell me his name? Can somebody tell me what's his position in this Shakur's team? Like anybody. Do y'all really think a guy that called in, in a podcast handles business? <laughs> yo like seriously yo y'all you don't don't but don't but don't believe the hype he <laughs> boy said who believes in the two fairy <laughs> right biggest Floyd fan but when he did fight Thurman I said Floyd don't want to fight the man and when Thurman did it dispense I said the same thing we just gotta keep it real right Aisha salute queen how you feeling today appreciate you pulling up Don what's good what he say how you estimate on nothing exactly they ain't even they ain't even they didn't even negotiate. That just shows that people are willing to believe anything that sounds good 
instead of really using a logical sense to, to realize like in order for that to be the case, they would have had to be been negotiating and things like that. They never done it. And even with that being said, who still really believes that that fight is worth thirty three million dollars is wild to me. Rosia was good with it. Ben versus Cobbs is happening. <laughs> I heard Connor Ben is fighting somebody. I forgot what name they threw out there. I, I, I forget, man. I forget. Young J Dub was good with it. He said he's been doing that number cabin and still defends the man. Bad look, Jesse don't want to fight fight now. Uh, on who don't want to fight now? That man is grossly overpaid. Has been such yeah, there's his own there. Yeah, that's what um Eddie Hearn put out there. Salute to Aisha. How you feeling, Queen? He works for Jay. How you not on the team? Nah, man, bro. Do you really think he handles that the business side of things, bro? He threw estimates and a hypothetical out there. Y'all keep on saying this. Y'all gonna just run with this? Y'all gonna let me know right now so I can know. Just the, everybody in here right now, everybody in here right now that believes this fight is worth $33 million. He actually turned down $8 million. Just 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 put a put a put a Put a, a hand in the chat or something. Just say I say I believe I believe this narrative. Just let me know that now. And salute to the uh Queen Shawala in the cash app. Much love and appreciation. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time saying. for yeah. you to get your just do Jelly Bean, salute family. Appreciate you pulling up. And it's talking about eight million pesos, right? I'm trying to figure out how Dev sent the offer without a promoter. Yeah, man, they, they 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 don't get it, bro. They don't get it. Ben versus Cobbs set for Florida September 30th. Roger, you trolling again, bro? Or I, I did hear somebody was fighting, but I didn't know. Then was getting 24, 25 million, I believe. He would get a few more mil to get in the ring if that was the case. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> he said it was big, eight million in Bitcoin. <laughs> IOUs, <laughs> man. Uh, yo, people gotta people gotta wake up, man. People gotta wake up, yo. Somebody tell me what negotiations took place, because the last thing I I remember happening with that situation is after he contacted them sanctioning bodies and they wrote up that letter, it was no more. Now, how the hell y'all get back to this twenty five percent that Bob Aram sat up here and told all y'all didn't have no substance. Not only do y'all not believe that coming directly from the promoter that would be responsible for making the fight. Not only do y'all not believe that, you also believe that that guy is going to get this dude paid eight million dollars and the other guy twenty five million. It's just wild. It's hell to me. Two guys that are not a huge draw that would not guarantee a return on that investment is going to be paid like that. Not only is he going to get Shakur eight million dollars, he's going to pay Devin Haney three times as much. Right. Three times as much. Right. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta get, y'all gotta get, get, get serious, man. Be real. <laughs> Be real, bro. Like, there's no, there's no way you can make yourself believe that. Like, seriously, let's, let's be very logical and reasonable. Like, who believes that? I know it's a little juicy because you want to believe somebody ducked and yeah, the, the narrative is cool, but seriously, like, seriously, seriously, who wants to believe that? I, I just, uh, you, you can't make this stuff up, man. Let's do my yeah yeah facts a one facts a one um EJ has re uh uh activated his rematch calls and he he getting it back in blood EJ getting it back in blood man yeah I'm telling you I'm telling you they'd be lucky if they get that together between each other on the whole fight eight million let alone let alone you know thirty three million they shelling out to two people like what in the hell like who man. Is this, so they gonna pay this man how they pay Canelo or something like he getting Canelo money, right? These people crazy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Aisha, they know it. They know it. It ain't happening. Now we're hearing this goof just going that ain't happening this year or next year. Nah, it's not. I doubt it. I doubt it, bro. I doubt it. That's why I say they should have just let it go. But nah, it wasn't enough for people. They had to draw, 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 drag it back up. And make up more narratives, bro. Ain't nobody trying to, ain't nobody buying. I ain't buying it. Like, again, I just put the information out there. I tell y'all what I think. Y'all free to tell me what y'all think. I'm not going to sow nobody's intelligence, but I will ask people to just, 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 just think a little bit. They will have to negotiate, bro. No, nobody negotiated nothing at all. At all, bro. Facts, Thomas. He, yeah, facts. He, he won his back, bro. I watch Ben and Cobb's fight. Hell yeah, I watch it. 
If I say I was good with it, and we ain't never go back saying, well, 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 again, it's, but, but, but now it's time to get you just do. <laughs> right, but I said it was good with it, bro. How you feeling, man? Appreciate you pulling up. Oh, boy, man. Boy, boy, boy. I responded to your comment already, bro. Hey, yeah, they be lucky if the whole fight is even worth that much. The, the whole narrative is bogus, period. It's a, it's draining to be con to be quite honest with you because it's it's, it's it shouldn't even be believable. But it kind of shows you how many people really don't think for themselves and don't do no logical thinking. They'll just believe anything. You can handle. You could. You can tell people anything, and they'll they'll just run with it. You know what I mean, mm hmm. You already know D one. So yeah, Ant Man. You, you're probably right in terms of the split, but that whole fight alone, they'd be lucky if it's worth eight million, let alone one guy getting eight million because people people feel like it. You get what I'm saying? It's just wild. They don't even know what they're basing his numbers off. They're just going out of coming out of they really that's what you call pulling something out your ass. Salute to my queen, Miss Just Do. How you feeling, baby girl? Yes, man. Y'all punch the like button. We gonna cook. This ain't the only thing we're gonna talk about. I just wanted to, you know, touch on this a little bit because I've seen it going around. And I just really wanted to see how many people are easily influenced by by rhetoric and false narratives. Like you got to use your head on this. The no negotiations took place. You get what I'm saying? Twenty five percent of what? Twenty five percent wasn't even a real offer of any substance. Bob Aram told everybody that. I don't understand why it, it, it could be anything further than that that you can think. Once he tells you that, he shoots it down. Anything else? Any stories that come on out after he already shot that down? Is an effort to stretch the truth. It's not, it's not valid. It don't hold no weight. And ain't nobody paying them dudes, them two dudes, that much money to fight each other. Not right now. You get what I'm saying? You'd be lucky. He'd be lucky if he ever have a fight where he makes $25 million, man. That ain't nothing to sneeze at. And he ain't getting that type of money right now. He get paid, but he ain't getting paid that right now. That's ridiculous for anybody to believe it. But have at it, man. You know what I mean? Have at it. Take the overhead into account. A lot of people, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Sucker is going every minute and comments still get paid. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're right, Mike. No logical thinking, bro. We specifically are running this narrative and rational. Any fans are going to defend him to the hill, accusing Stevenson of ducking. That's what it's all about at the end of the day, making it seem like he ducked him when he didn't. And the fact of the matter, that's how you know he ain't want to fight because they still pushing narratives for him. Mm hmm. Right. I think it's Tio, Tio personality fate that be turning people off. Right. A lot of people not going to get paid, yo, if they paying them two fighters. Like, think about it. Y'all ain't even adding on the people and who else, the other people that got to get paid. Think about that. Nobody's taking that into account. They're just running with it. You get what I'm saying? They're just running with it. They're just running with it, bro. And I'm going to say it again. He, I see you, Quincy. He threw out a hypothetical. I don't know what else I could say, bro. You get what I'm saying? You still stuck on that. Do you believe it or not, bro? That's why I want to know. Do you believe that he turned out $8 million and that'll help me, you know, that'll help us understand each other a little bit more. PGH, big dog. What's good, family? Tim, what's going on, my bro? D1 said, you know, Devin's opponents get paid more than most. Does anybody know why? Right. So it just goes to show people want to be right, right, right. I don't care what they have to believe or what they got to go through to prove it. They're just going to do it. That means Shaq is between 9 million and 12 million as a total purse. And, and again, that even if that's the case, right, Ant? And that would be high, right? You really think, think about how, how far off people are to think that the whole fight is worth 20, 33 million dollars is bogus. Huh. Talk to him, Roja. He turned down. He t he said no to twenty five percent, and then he went and got got his team to get on there. I I see you right. You keep writing that, Quincy. I see you, bro. But do you do you answer my question? Like you hear what I'm asking you, Quincy? Do, do you believe that he turned down eight million dollars? I don't care who that dude worked for. I don't care who he worked for. 
I'm just not a fool. Akello, my bro, what's good with it? Kello, how you feeling? Appreciate you pulling up. Salute to Don and that super chat. We're sitting there offering food stamps at <laughs> Dodge Corn. You get what I'm saying? Like <laughs> at the bottom, the bottom line is regardless of who the guy works for, do anybody believe that that fight is worth 33 million? 25 to Deb, eight to Shakur. Do you believe Shakur turned down eight million dollars? At that I, if you do, blessings to you, man. And blessings we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 well. I already been getting these, but but but, but now it's time for you is. to get your just do. Salute to my bro, Don, man. Much love and appreciation in that super chat, bro. Bill does all the capping to give his YouTube millions ammo. They got some with this one, bro. They got some with this one, Akello. They got some big time. Salute to my bro, OZ, man, in that super chat, man. Dudes for big just do. Much love and appreciation, bro. Support. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these, but but but, but now it's time for is. you to get your just do. Salute to my bros, Don and OZ Boxing, man. Much love and appreciation to y'all bros, man. Emmy can't get an opponent eight mil. He's not saying, yo, I'm telling you, all logic goes out the window, uh, Rosier. You, you get what I'm saying? I, 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 people don't even have to connect the dots no more. They'll just run with it. They'll just run with it. Uh, I, I mean, good luck, yo. Blessings to y'all, bro. But there's no way in hell y'all can believe that that fight is worth that much money right now. And just think about it by some of y'all's logic. By some of y'all's logic, you know Dev is not a big draw. I'm not trying to say he don't sell. He's not a big draw, right? And by y'all logic, Shakur can't draw flies to shit. That's what y'all say. But that's the guy that they're going to grossly overpay and they're going to pay him $8 million and not get a return on that investment. When you heard Bob Aram said, you get what I'm saying? We'll take chances, but we're not gamblers. We're not gamblers. And that would be gambling. That would be gambling. Who the hell would make their money back? Can't be serious, bro. Like logic, people. Logic, man. Logic wins all the time. It's just sports talk. What's good with it, bro? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. What's good with it? How you feeling? I think the fight with Charlie and B will happen. So I think it's going to be more Dimitri versus Arthur. If they, you know, if they don't settle those problems, those issues they got, they never going to sanction that fight. You get what I'm saying? Um, and between B and uh, better B, fight is worth with the gate and TV views. Uh, thirty three million. R West, what's good, family? How you feeling, my bro? Appreciate you pulling up. Jordan C was good. First time you popped up on my recommend 25% being 8 million doesn't even sound right. Jordan C, salute to you, bro. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Welcome. Smash the like button for me. Sub to the channel. Come rock out with the family. Salute to you. And you come right in here speaking logic because it, it don't at all. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, dig, yeah, dig what I'm saying. Yeah, dig. Do you do you believe it, yo? Do you believe it, Quincy? I I, I be, we've been saying it's an estimation, it's a it's a hypothetical, but it's not real. Twenty five percent of what? Can you tell me twenty five percent of what? You get what I'm saying? Can you believe? Can twenty five percent of what? Where is it coming from? People can't even answer that, but they'll still be like, yeah, but eight million. He turned down eight million. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how we got there, but yeah. <laughs> get what I'm saying? Right, right, Don. Right. They won't get a return on their investment. Salute to my bro, R. West, man. Good to see you in the building, bro. Yes, man. Y'all don't forget to become a member. Salute to my bro, OZ. Get y'all channel memberships. Come and rock out with your boy. Doesn't know what's going on. All right. You, 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 you sure? Go, go. Hey, hey, what's it? Go, go ask him. Go ask him 25% of what, bro? That's all. That's all I'm going to say. LaMarcus, what's good with it, my bro? How you feeling? Appreciate you sliding through. Y'all believe anything, bro. Y'all believe anything. <laughs> Y'all believe anything. Bob Aram said the no, the twenty five percent had no substance, but you gonna believe? You gonna believe a guy that called the podcast over with Bob Aram just told y'all? Okay, cool. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, the guy that's putting on the fight telling you the twenty five percent had no substance. You're still talking about what another dude said. I don't care what he said. I know what Bob Aram said. Hey, <laughs> I know what Bob Aram said. And I'm very logical and I'm not a fool. And I know damn well two guys that's not a big draw. It's not one guy is not going to get paid no $25 million and the other guy eight. It's not going to happen. Not not today, not ever, bro. It's not going to happen. Nobody will get a return on their investment. Why in the hell would they put that fight on? Why? For that kind of money. The hell? 
use use common sense stop stop trying to hold on to the fact that dude is connected to jay prince i don't give a damn who he connected to you ain't never heard him spoke on business before why will any why would we take what he's saying as anything right now valid anything anything when he came up there giving y'all a hypothetical he gave you a hypothetical situation and y'all treated it like a real one god damn no negotiations took place 25 percent of what talking about here no he knows about as much as we know that's it. no negotiations took took place whatsoever for y'all to know where the money is coming from y'all just talking i'm selling haney t-shirts with your core on the back <laughs> 75 25 right stop this stop the stop the, the bs man stop you won't insult my intelligence y'all can't even answer basic questions but y'all in here hanging on to the one little piece of information that you could i don't care who that guy is connected to can y'all tell me where the money is coming from did he tell you where the money is coming from the hell are y'all talking about stop telling me what he said i know what he said Salute to everybody in the building. Y'all make sure y'all punch the like button for you, bro. Y'all don't do nothing else. Sock the like button out. Sub to the channel. Turn them notifications on. Wow. Salute to my bro, Mike. I see you, Mike. I see I see your message, too. Wow, that's crazy. Salute to my bro, Mike. Kirkland, in that super, in that cash app. Much love and appreciation, And we ain't never bro. got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. Shoot to my my bro Mike. Much love, Brody. Get you time. Yeah, right. Yeah, they is. It ain't gonna work, Thomas. I'm cool as a pillow today. Salute to my bro Kelly as well, man. They had to do Earl and Bud numbers. They'd be lucky to do 300 k Talk about it, Kello. No return on the investment, but they gonna pay them all that money because y'all said so. <laughs> Run with it, bro. Run with it. Run with it. Listen, man, I'm going to say this for the last time. J-Dub, cool, bro. He can work with Jay Prince on the boxing side. That doesn't mean he knows the business, the inside and outside of it, bro. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that. You get what I'm saying? No negotiations took place. I don't care what nobody is talking about. You're not making no sense. You notice how many times you're repeating the same thing about this dude and who he worked with? We're, we're in agreement. That's okay. He works with him, right? That doesn't mean he's qualified to speak on what he was speaking on. That don't mean he knows the ins and outs of the business. That Did he tell you where the money is coming from? Or are you just believing it still? If y'all not telling me that, I'm ignoring y'all from now on. I'm ignoring y'all. I'm ignoring y'all. Chop was good with it. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Y'all gonna keep believing the hype. Nah, man, Shakur ain't making no bad decisions, man. What the, what bad decision he made? Not taking 25%? That wasn't a, a, a real offer? Straight out of the promoter's mouth? Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Don't, don't. <laughs> y'all believe anything, man. Donald Trump, my cousin. Donald Trump, my cousin, y'all. Donald Trump, my cousin. And me and the Rock brothers, blood brothers. Me and Dwayne the Rock Johnson is blood brothers, y'all. Did y'all know that? Yeah, he coming to pick me up. He coming to pick me up when I get when I get off stream. He he just texted me a minute ago. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is my brother. Just doing Dwayne the Rock Johnson is related. I didn't know that. And Donald Trump is my cousin. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He, Donald Trump is my cousin. You know what I'm saying. I mean, since we, you know, since. Since, 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 you know, you know, I just figured I'd let y'all know that since y'all in the belief, such a believable mood, you know, since y'all, <laughs> he says y'all do look alike. <laughs> Donald Trump, my cousin, and, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, we blood brothers, man. You feel me? He come to pick me up soon as we get off of here, man. <laughs> to take away that, probably can plan to move to 140 next year, 2025 at least. Yeah, right. Anybody does it, Shakur ain't that big of a draw yet, do honestly gotta take what he can get, especially for dead fights. Is listen to this. Listen, all right, I, 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 I hear you. I hear you, chop, right? Listen, I hear your point, right? Just hear me calmly. Hear me calmly and cool, right? How can he take something if it was no substance to it? Do you get what I'm trying to say? 
how could he take something if by the promoter that would be putting on the fight would be Bob Arum, right? How could he take something if the promoter said it had no substance? How? And better yet, do you really think Shakur Stevenson, I mean, Devin Haney is fighting at 135 again? Do you really think that? Like, those are the better, those are the real questions. Like, the, those are the real focal points. You get what I'm trying to say? I want to say he's making a bad move by, by not accepting an offer that had no substance to it. Like, let's put it in perspective. You get what I'm saying? Money would come from the promoter. Dig what I'm saying, Akello? You get what I'm saying? And you know that man ain't putting up that type of bread. <laughs> he said, Justin, the rock, y'all looking like Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Mike said, I believe you. <laughs> Salute to Mike. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, Mike. <laughs> Y'all look like saying Trump. <laughs> oh, man. That's what's up, man. You got to get frail, man. I need to press them Trump love shots. <laughs> yeah, right. Make boxing great again, man. Tay Tay, the real queen in MMA combat. How you feeling, queen? Appreciate you pulling up. Yeah. Rock your cousin, too, Dan. D1, we might be related, D1. Might be related, man. Salute to Jordan C, man. Coming in here with a lot of logic early, man. Ain't he making that EJ versus Bud money? I'm telling you. And they don't even question it, Rosia. They don't even bat an eye. These digits are hot right on it. <laughs> no sense of logic, whatever. <laughs> oh, man, yo. Oh, man, y'all can't be serious, man. I, I say this, man. Salute to everybody that, that does believe that y'all can have at it, man. I just think we got to be a bit smarter. Should have signed that twenty that that Twitter off for twenty five percent facts. D one, he should have hopped all over it, man. Damn, Shakur, you see what you did? Damn, you had an opportunity at twenty. You had an opportunity at eight million Bitcoin, man, and you ain't take eight million Bitcoin, man, yo. It paid you in Bitcoin, bro. Ain't no way in hell you get me to believe that. Ain't no way. Cheapest, most, yo. I'm telling you. The cheapest promoter in the game, bro. No, you know it. That boy said he is not a gambler. They're not get he take chances, but he is not a gambler. But that would be gambling. That would be gambling, bro. <laughs> yeah, just I see that people's eye value. You did the other day too. Yeah, you peep it, Tim. I got one of those. I I've been I've been told I do a very good, very good people's eyebrow, man. You saying is they never sent the offer? Facts, chop, facts. Facts, chop. I'm, I'm definitely 100%. I'm saying that. I'm dead serious. I'm saying that. They said it too. They said it wasn't a real offer. It was never a real written offer. That's why I told you Bob Aaron been shut it down when he said it, it had no substance to it. I was trying to tell y'all that. That's not me being funny. Yo, I'm trying to tell y'all. Can y'all understand something? I want everybody in here that's slightly on the other side of things to understand something. No matter who, what, fit, what fighter I rock with. I'm always going to call it down the middle. I'm never going to try to, like, you know, tell it how it's not. I'm never going to try to create a situation or a narrative that makes him look in a better light. If he did wrong, if he moving funny, I'm going to call it out right with y'all. But I'm telling y'all, it's a big exaggeration out there on, on, on the behalf of Shakur Stevenson. I'm telling y'all, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors, bro. They're going extra hard. Like, y'all got to start asking the question. If they're so focused on Regis Prograde, why are people still going so hard on Shakur? Ask the question, yo. I'm telling you. You already know what I'm saying? You already know, Chop, man. My guy, you get what I'm saying? I would not. I, I'm going to follow the information as best I can and leave and put it all out there. I don't, I, ain't leave, I don't leave nothing out. I'm trying to tell y'all. When I heard Bob Aram said that, I knew it was all what it was. He said it was no substance to it. And then that forced Bill Haney to pretty much echo the same sentiment. There was no actual written offer ever. It wasn't. People, won't, they won't keep it real with that. It wasn't, bro. I'm telling you. And then when it don't have no substance to it from the promoter that is going to make the fight. Think about it. You get what I'm saying? William Old School, my brother, was good with it. It's crazy, man. It's, it's sad. Like, man, we out here really trying to convince people that Devin Haney is about to make the same type of money that Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford just made up front. You get what I'm trying to say? That's not no hate. I don't hate nobody. I just don't like false narratives, and I believe this is one. Everybody's entitled to feel how they feel. I don't do personal attacks. I don't attack no other creators. They can do what they want to do. I just, me personally, my voice, I'm using it to feel like I'm shooting down this narrative. I think it's BS. The whole notion that they would pay these dudes this much money, if people believe that that's crazy man that's 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 nuts that's nuts to me 
Gambling like pulling a pin and a grenade. I'm just saying, eight million is 25 percent, a whole lot of effing money. Ten fights away from either of them, right? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just under a bill, still pushing my <laughs> judge a fool. YK Mel, what's good with it, fam? So they sent some BS just to be, yeah, 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 absolutely. And then it, it just didn't have no substance. That's straight out of the promoter's mouth. Yeah, I never leave nothing out. Not leaving nothing out. I'm not trying to side with one guy or the other. I'm siding with boxing in this regard. Why should any of us be duped into believing that this is the real situation? Why? Why would it take this long for, for, this, for this to come out? Why didn't people know right from the rip when he said no to 25%, it was 8 million? Why didn't these people know that? Why? Nothing changed. It ain't like no negotiations happened and people crunched no numbers and they was able to come up with this. None of that happened. Why did it take so long for these people to obtain this type of information? Because it's not valid. It ain't solid. That shit is just another ploy. Smear campaign 2.0. Just when they thought we, you thought we was done with you. Nope. We about to tell everybody you turned down $8 million. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. They would have knew that right from the rip. You think nobody would have figured it out right then and there? That damn, he turned down his career. Remember, remember the remember the, the question was how much would he be getting paid? Nobody knew. Nobody had no numbers. Now all of a sudden, weeks later, month later, whatever the case, now people have numbers. You can't make this stuff up, man. And videos leak exactly what happened. They moved to one forty when it got hot. Jordan C is it's, it's true to me, man. True to me, man. Haney Shakur hate. Yeah, but over here, I just want to be clear, Judge. I don't hate no fighters over here. We don't, as a as a unit, as a family over here, I, I promote, you know, building fighters up. I ain't tearing no fighters down. I'm just attacking a narrative that I think is out there. I'm not attacking no single person, no content creator. The narrative. I attack the narrative. I, I know how not to make anything personal. I just don't believe. I just don't believe BS when I hear it. I'm not a fool. You get what I'm saying? I'm not a fool. Simply put, if you think that fight is worth three million $33 million, blessings to you, bro. I'm not arguing that. You can have it. You get what I'm saying? Had it. Joe, jo, what's good with it, Joe? Man, and it's, again, y'all going to keep saying the dude <clears throat> was from his team. Jonathan, what's good? Y'all going to keep saying he's from his team. And where did the money, where is this money coming from, y'all? Y'all keep on saying this. He's from his team. So that y'all think that makes it valid. Y'all think that makes it valid when no negotiations took place? I, 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 just, yeah, I, I question how people think. Y'all willing to skip steps just to just to run with a narrative that suits your fighter? You'll skip steps. You'll abandon logic and reason and just say, ah, you know what? Well, here's that. Nah, I ain't run with it, bro. Y'all can have that. That's weird. And <laughs> that's weird, bro. Yeah, the man is not making no $24, 25000000 million in a goddamn fight. So have at it. I don't give a damn who it came from. It ain't came from the guy that was going to make the fight. That's crazy how y'all would believe. Y'all would not believe when Bob Aram says it's no substance to the 25%. That's not good enough. But when a guy comes up weeks later on a goddamn podcast and tell you something that fits a narrative for you, you run with it immediately. It's sad, bro. You think that guy is making a fight? He ain't making a fight. Bob Aram is making a fight. Have you ever heard him speak such numbers like that? the hell man y'all believe anything bro like i said Dwayne the rock johnson me and him is blood brothers man same mother same father bro and donald trump is my cousin all right just want y'all to know that since y'all in such a believable mood you know you know and and, and he said they said they gonna make me the next millionaire billionaire you know what i'm saying so i just want to let y'all know that you know what i mean i just want to let y'all know that I just want to let y'all know. Hey, yo, facts, facts, Devon, facts, bro. They got them on lock. They got them on lock. They got them on lock. I magnificent. What's good with it, fam? How you feeling, bro? Um, um, the offer. Listen, I'm gonna say this again for you. Matter of fact, let me let me find let me find it for y'all. So I ain't gotta keep saying it. So I ain't gotta keep saying. Let me see if I can find it real quick. So I ain't gotta keep saying it. Let me play it. Let me play it. Let me just play it for y'all. Let me just keep playing it. Let me just play it for y'all. Y'all gonna, gonna have me singing back here. Y'all make sure y'all punch the like button for your bro. 
you know punch that like button so to the channel if you have it i'm rock out with your boy my bad y'all that's that's commercials i don't got youtube premium man i ain't and they ain't make me donald trump and the rock ain't make me a millionaire billionaire just yet y'all you know what i'm saying it's now bob um to one of your fighters nah uh a1 again steve urkel is a nerd a nerd you got to wear more you got to you got to do more than wear glasses to be a nerd i don't have bug eyes you get what i'm saying i don't got no weak ass you know feet get what i'm saying you got to come with somebody different steve urkel is an insult like you get what i'm saying like you got to wear more than glasses to be a nerd you know what i mean steve urkel is a nerd you did and let's get into Vasily this Lomachenko, well, what's the latest yeah uh, i ain't paying my premium yet it's gonna go to 140 mm -hmm. To have that fight with uh Regis Progress uh with Let's Matchroom in the zone this. for one fight. But uh so where, where does that leave Vasily at, at this point? Well, you know, he's he's rated very highly in all the organizations. So eventually oh. that worked for them uh vying for a title because with the whole Haney situation, he still gets to keep the undisputed titles, right? Or or because he's taking this fight, he's gonna end up being stripped of some of them. Yeah, he's gonna be stripped. And if he wins, he beats Progress. Then he's going to stay at 140. You know, he was having big, big troubles staying at 135. Outside looking in, and this is just me thinking, he seems to be a little frustrated of not getting guys like Haney and, and Gervonta uh, and others in the ring with him. Do you kind of sense that from him also? No, I talked to him last night. And, uh, you know, he's a young, ambitious guy who's super talented. And he's Make like a you know. horse, you know, can't wait to get out of the starting gate. But I talked to him and I told him, it'll all come. Take your time. Take your time. Uh, you're building up a tremendous record. You're making <laughs> good <not>. money. <laughs> uh, the dream fights that you're looking for will be there. Maybe not this year, but next year or the year after. And how do you take that? Good. He's, you know, he's... He, he started with top rank when he was a baby, uh, and, and he therefore uh, lacked some maturity. And now as he's getting older and understands everything, uh, he's becoming more mature, more not mature. only as a fighter, but as a person. So, yeah, he, he's a very highly intelligent, and he understands. Nobody. How did you take Nobody. the supposed of offer that was sent to him from Devin the the 20 or 25 percent for a fight was that was there any ever any real substance behind that no I don't think any he supposed of offer that was sent to him from Devin the the 20 or 25 percent for a fight was that was there any ever any real substance behind that no take the supposed of offer that was sent to him from Devin the the 20 or 25 percent for a fight was that was there any ever any real substance behind that no take the supposed of offer that was sent to him from Devin the the 20 or 25 percent for a fight was that was there any ever any real substance behind that no one more time the supposed of offer that was sent to him from bad, Devin the, I'm just the 20 making a point or 25 percent for a listen. fight was that was there any ever any real substance behind that no i don't think any was particularly anxious uh to fight shakur uh because uh it's frankly probably a fight that uh shakur is gonna win uh because uh it's frankly probably a fight that uh, Shakur is going to win or, uh, because uh, it's frankly probably a fight that uh, Shakur is going to win. <laughs> so Haney is better off uh, fighting at 140 where Shubab. his body is uh, calling for Shubab. because it's more and more difficult for him yes, Bob. Uh, to make the 135 limit. That was true, Bob. Yes. And that's another thing, man. You know, um, 
it's not going to be in a man's best interest to fight at 35. So if again, we free thinkers over here and one thing about me, everybody's allowed to feel or think how they want to think. We just had a conversation. Nobody gets in their feelings about it. Now you're going to hear me be passionate about it when I hear people spew rhetoric or the same things over and over again, but I'm never going to soak people's intelligence. If y'all feel like it's validity to, to the offer, y'all feel like he actually turned down $8 million. If y'all feel like Devin Haney was going to make $25 million, have at it, you know, but we, we still going to talk about it. I think for the most part, think people do know is bs though because you, you just have to know it when you hear it he's not going to make that kind of money and i don't care who come on what podcast and say what like bob Aram said don't got substance to it then it, they move it to something else well he's just saying no he's saying what he he said what he said there's no substance to it but we still gonna run with it right okay I, I, I can't run with it. Salute to my bro, Kello. Much love and appreciation, bro. He says, Devin turned down $25 million to fight reasons for $3 million. Couldn't give his big homie a few more million to take $22 million. Get what I'm saying? Better yet, a Kello, he ain't even want to negotiate. No negotiations took place, but all of a sudden, they turning down $25 and, and, and $8 million. <laughs> What? Jesus. You know how... I would be side eyeing Shakur if I really found out he turned out eight million dollars, bro. If somebody can really prove that beyond push, just pushing a silly narrative, then I'll believe it. I'm just not a person. I'm not. I'm not against the truth. If that's the absolute truth, bro, and somebody can really prove that to me, then I I believe it. You get what I'm saying? But nobody. It's just a narrative to me. I heard no, no proof. Nobody can say where the money is coming from. How did you get to this egregious ass number? What makes you think that you're going to pay him the way Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford just got paid? What makes people think that? What makes people think that? Do anybody, like seriously, like use our heads for two guys that are still building their names and are not big draws? You telling me they're going to pay $33 million for a fight with two guys that are not big draws, still building their names? Based off Yash Shakur has done nothing at 135, right? Right. He ain't deserved this and that. So now he deserves eight million dollars. This is what gets me passionate about it. I just want to be clear. I ain't mad, but it's, it's a little annoying. It is like, come on, what, what, let's make sense of it. Let's make sense. They said he couldn't drive flaws and shit. He ain't a draw. He ain't never fight on pay-per-view. He only fight on free TV. He ain't this. He ain't that. He don't deserve this. He don't deserve that. But now you're telling me he deserved eight million dollars because it fits a narrative that makes him look a certain way. B.S. That's why I call BS. That's why I call it BS. Salute to my bro. And we ain't never got to box again. Well, right. well, 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 I, I already been getting these, but, 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 but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Well, we should believe that. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Salute to my bro, Kello, man. <clears throat> nah, I ain't mad. I ain't mad, though. Now you believe anything Bob said. It ain't believing anything. It's believing a situation that played out exactly the way it, it played out. No substance to an offer. Why, why do I believe that it was no substance to the offer? I'm going to tell you this, Juan Carlos, because you came in here telling me I believe anything. No, I don't believe anything Bob said. I believe him on this instance right here. So you don't know me well enough to know what I believe. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to say this to you and I'm going to make sense of it. It might not make sense to you, but it makes perfect logical sense to me. Do you know why I want to do you know why I believe that it was no substance to the offer? Because when he wrote the letter, when he got his his lawyer, his team to write up the, the letter to the sanctioning bodies, he was unwilling to negotiate from that point further. That's how I knew the offer had no substance. That's how I know, because if it did from that point on, he was supposed to negotiate. He didn't do that. He went to go take care of his business and he's still taking care of the business with Regis. That's why. That's why I know it didn't have no, no substance to it. I'm not a damn fool. I don't believe anything. I'm a logical thinker. You allowed to disagree. You ain't got to disagree with me. You just can believe what you want. But just do going to believe what he be believes. And I, what I believe makes sense to me. Nobody can make sense of how a guy is going to make $24, 25000000 million for one fight. He ain't never made that kind of money in his, in his career for no one single fight. All of a sudden, he's going to jump up. And they're going to pay him that much money for a guy by you logic is not a big draw. How? Who's going to get the return on the investment? They're going to just throw their money away? Come on, man. Make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense. Darius, what's good with it, family? How you feeling, bro? Make it make sense. People just say anything. 
Don't tell me I believe anything. I, I'll drop the link in a second. Buckle up, boxing talk. What's good with it, bro? Based on that, nobody's done anything. Division set there, Lord. Yeah, facts, facts, bro. They just don't. They don't make no sense, bro. They don't make no, no make no sense. He uh, he says anything. He also said he asked for 50 too. He also said that. He said a lot of BS. I'm not trying to hear nothing about what he said, bro. He, he's just, damn, man, yo, y'all going to make me. I don't want to talk about him. I don't talk about him. I leave him out of my lives. I leave him off. I leave him out of my lives. I'm going to just say y'all can have at it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fool. I'm going to just say that. I ain't no damn fool. I ain't no damn fool, bro. He say too much. Of course, stop negotiations now. Come on, man. Every day it's a new one, bro. Every day it's a new one. How did he stop it when he got his team to write the letter? From that point on, there was no negotiations that took place. So how the hell did he stop him? He made the last move. There was no move made after that. None. None. Because he wasn't willing to negotiate. So how the, how the hell did he stop something that never took place? Man, that dude just be sitting up here lying, man. Don't tell me none, he said, because I'm going to be forced to call him a liar. I don't want to talk about that dude. I don't. Leave him out of my lives because people be way too sensitive. And I don't feel like getting getting a certain way. I want to enjoy my, my live stream. I don't want to talk about what he said. I don't believe what he said. That's, that's garbage. It's the same dude that said he ain't had to fight Cambosis a second time. And what happened? Man, I don't want to hear what nothing he said, man. That should be smoke and mirrors, man. I'm going to just say this. No negotiations took place whatsoever. That man wrote the letter and they went where they went. And y'all know that. Ain't nothing else happened after that. Stop the negotiations. Which one is it? First, he's first he priced himself out. Then he's now he stopped the negotiations. Do you see how people constantly put their foot in their mouth? They be lying, lying, bro. Which one is it? First, he priced himself out. Now he stopped the negotiations that never took place. You people are crazy, man. Don't do it to yourself, man. I believe anything, man, yo. Man, that dude ain't even give him an opportunity to negotiate. It was a taker. And y'all know it was a taker to leave his situation because he wasn't willing to negotiate. He showed us all that. He showed us all that. He didn't do it. Then just broke all kind of gate records and just hit the 20 million mark. Devin never put up them numbers. De Devin, man, I'm telling you, Devon, I'm telling you, BN Boxing News, what's good with it, bro? Yes, sir. EJ has activated that rematch clause and he won it back in blood. EJ said he wanted back in blood. They thought he wasn't going to accept it. He won. He won his back in blood. <laughs> the OK Prime won't put up that much money for that. Nope. Whole lot of smoke and mirrors, man. Kendrell, salute, fan. Appreciate you pulling up. Listen, man, I, much love. Y'all know I rock with everybody in here. I appreciate all the love, all the support. I rock with everybody. We free thinkers, man. Y'all going to hear me be passionate from time to time, but I ain't mad at nothing. I just don't like false narratives that I, I those those piss me off and again y'all like let's use our brains why are they just now waiting conveniently coming up with some random ass numbers if that was the case the minute he said no to 25 percent they would have been able to tell you 25 percent of what that's not a, a answer that's not an answer that we've ever got to that question where is this 25 percent coming from you've never got an answer to that and you would have found out how much it was worth Way, way when it happened, not just now. We wouldn't, this just wouldn't be coming up now. Think about it, bro. Think about it, man. You gotta use your brain, man. Stuff don't even make sense, man. Stuff don't even make sense. Gotta use logic, bro. Gotta use logic. But I'm gonna move on past this because I'm, 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 I'm off this though. I'm off it. Oh, it's, it's a few more things we could talk about for sure, man. And this ain't the only thing. This ain't the only thing. This ain't the only thing. You get what I'm saying? Salute to Kendra. Appreciate you pulling up. Y'all smash that like button sub to the channel if y'all want the, um, with the dude. I don't care about that dude, Jonathan, man. Y'all could, you could, you could run with it if you want. You get what I'm saying, bro? It's all good over here. You can run with it. You won't be blocked. I ain't mad. Nothing, none of that. You still my guy. You can run with it if you want, bro. I, I ain't arguing nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm arguing bullshit narratives and I'm arguing the fact that people are willing to point out any one little thing. Y'all still telling me about the dude when I just played with Bob Aram said. So who do you think I care about? Who's going to make that fight? The dude on that phone call or Bob Aram? Who's going to make the fight? If he says no substance, do you think I care about what the dude said? You get what I'm trying to say? I don't think I'm crazy for, for feeling like that. The guy who who's responsible for making the fight. 
one thing I know he's not definitely not shelling out $33 million to Tufan. You know, that's not happening. <laughs> that's not ha ever happening, bro. <laughs> Y'all got it today. Salute to my bro, Mike Kirkley, man. He says a Spence fan hurt when he lost, but just imagine how any fans going to take his first defeat. They're going to cry in the car, in the locker rooms, in the arenas. And we ain't never got a box again. Yeah, well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but, 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 but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. Salute to my bro, Mike Kirkland, man. Y'all make sure y'all uppercut that like button. Sock it out one time for your bro, man. Buckle up, say what kind of friend you will want to go see if you could get a few more numbers on the percentage of your money. You dig what I'm saying? You dig what I'm saying? Right. Fact, bro. Just want us to forget that bill. Says Shakur always get the best of Devin. Yeah, they won't. Um, they won't. Um, dude said it was an estimate, which means it could be any number. He was just using a number for math. Oh, I, I got you. I got you, John. I got you, bro. He said he's just using a number for math. Yeah, he might be using a number for math, but now that number that he used for math, bro, the number that he used for math, people are using it as gospel, as truth. When he just threw it up out of nowhere, NK True was good. He said who came up with the numbers, a guy, a, a, a random guy on the phone phone call that say he's part of Shakur team that just did. If anything, he must have did more damage than good. But did you know what? No, nah, I just don't think people listen. I think people heard what they want to hear, hear from it. I don't think they heard him right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I believe Bob on this situation because he's in control of making the fight. You get what I'm saying, Kendrell? He's in charge of making the fight. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The number, but see, the number, the number is what the whole narrative is about. Eight million dollars. That's what it is. You get what I'm saying? When in, in terms of him making a, a fight or not making a fight, I'm going to listen to him. I'm going to listen to him a little bit. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to listen to him because uh, he old and he pretty much speak his mind. He do he do uh speak out of both sides of his mouth, but I think a lot. I think all promoters do that. That don't mean everything he says is going to be BS. If he said this had no substance and you seen that no negotiations took place, I put two and two together. If it had if it had substance, he would have given his substance by being willing to negotiate. The fact that he wasn't is it, it, telling you everything you need to know. To me, it, it had no substance. You get what I'm saying? Who said Bob? Who said Aaron making the fight? No, no, he. What? I, I don't know what you're asking. Who said Aaron making what fight? Bill, Bill Haynes become a legend. New line, Eddie, <laughs> Eddie, Eddie Germ. <laughs> And he's with respect, but they say disrespecting fighters and fans is true. So according to the you're sure he's not on E. So don't worry. Y'all going y'all go y'all gonna be sick when y'all see how the fight play out. Sparky Pete was good with it, bro. How you feeling? Y'all gonna be sick when y'all see how that fight actually play out. <laughs> mm. Yeah. His biggest fans can't even tell you how the fight will play out in his favor. They just feel like he'll win. Uh, he's just gonna beat him. He going 9 3 him, 10 to him, 12 zip him. You know what I mean? You just like he did, he just like he did Loma. He going 12 zip Shakur like he did Loma. 12 zip 10. Opulent LD TV was good, bro. He blessings to you, family. They went terms for peace for no hate. Now nah, we yeah, man. I don't know where all the hate be coming from, man. I don't know. But I love, I love, I love boxing. I love boxing. Now nah, let me stop playing, man. Let me stop joking. But look. Again, man, just to wrap this up, look, um, I feel like anytime I hear a false narrative, I'm shooting it down. I don't care where it's coming from. I right, salute to Opulent, man. Appreciate you pulling up, bro. I just, I, I, it, it, I know logic. I know logic, and um, this ain't, this ain't adding up. Like the math ain't mathing. You get what I'm saying? There's no way they're gonna pay thirty three million dollars for a fight where two guys are not a big draw yet. You get what I'm saying? They're still building their names. If, if y'all want to believe some type of way. And in, in the world of boxing, that they was going to magically come up with this money and pay those dudes that much money, by all means, I'm not going to call you an idiot. I'm not going to say you dumb. I'm not going to say none of that. I'm going to say you can believe what you want. But nobody can tell me where this money's coming from. Nobody can tell me 25% of what. All they keep telling me is what other people said. You get what I'm saying? But when I say what Bob Aram said, I'm not supposed to believe what Bob Aram said. I'm supposed to believe what everybody else said that's farther and farther away from the situation. Not the guy that would be responsible for putting on the fight. Never mind what the guy, the promoter is saying that's gonna make the fight. Listen to everybody else. Cause that makes logical sense, right? Come on, man, I'm a logical thinker, bro. I ain't got, I ain't, I don't get it all right, but I ain't no damn fool. 
man clearly telling you what it is and you seeing what it is but people still want to make it out to be something that is not have at it bro and they're not shelling out 33 million dollars for Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney fighting no 2023 or for at any point for that matter you get what I'm saying so with the pay being what they saying it is now or what it was so have at it bro you can you can believe it bro <laughs> yeah yeah Devon because they 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 just don't let nothing you know it's it's weird to me Playing getting ripped off, and I act like it's okay from do others like that. Yeah, all the truth will come to the light. Sport and the participants. Hey, Garrett, man, I'm telling you, man, the truth will come to the light. The cream, the cream will rise to the top, and you know, hopefully, like I said, we get this fight anyway. But it wasn't really about the fight. It's just I think that's a narrative. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't push it. I can't rock with it. Um, I, I've heard the different arguments. It sounds like more fluff to me, more smoke and mirrors more smear smear campaign type of stuff um yeah i'm i'm not going with that i'm not a fool the cheap ass bob Barron ain't paying shelling out that type of money and and, and neither are the networks on two guys if y'all saying the networks the networks ain't shelling out that type of money for a guy that's not a huge draw that just did 150,000 buys in his first pay-per-view like make it make sense all of that stuff goes out the window just to believe a lie that's that shit is crazy to me but moving on I'm off that. I'm on to something else, man. Something else. So, salute to everybody in the building, by the way, too, man. Salute to all y'all. But I'm moving on past that. We're going to talk about something else, man. Something else now. Now, look, man. I don't know, man. Jamal Char Jamel Charlo going up to 160. Going, pardon me, y'all. Going up to 168. Could be a good thing, man. I think it's a, it, it makes for a lot of interesting fights, especially if he either, especially if he's successful September 30th. If he's able to beat, if he's able to beat Canelo, bro, man, yo, the, the possibilities are endless at 68, man. If that's going to be his new home, man. So uh, I definitely, I definitely want, I'm pulling for him, man, but this is going to be a tough fight on the 30th. I know Canelo going to be, um, I know he's gonna work as hard as he worked in a, in a long time, and I expect him to look better in, in this fight against Charlo than he did in his recent fights, simply because of you know the opponent that he's getting in there with. I'm ready if the Tasha Core got a ghost in his corner. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna he gonna whoop on him and then they're gonna move the goalpost somewhere else. Watch. Oh well, he 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 was only a prospect. Watch. Unless you agree, Tweety didn't know him. I, I I mean, yeah, that's that's just more uh like you know, that's like, I don't know. I don't know. Cause I ain't seen none of that. I, I don't really like Twitter like that, Jonathan. I got one, but I got like a love hate every now and then I'll pull something off Twitter that I seen, but I'll be hating Twitter to be honest with you. Cause it's just so toxic. And, and it's, it's like, that ain't for people that want to learn. Like you, I don't know. People just want to argue on Twitter. That's, that's why it ain't my cup of tea. Like, I ain't never went up there and learned nothing, never. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that Bobby Nota undefeated records what pays him. They don't want to lose it. Definitely not at 135 against one of the toughest fighters, one of the most skilled fighters in boxing. They go ignore all that logic, too. That's why I say, man, before you get to all of that, just, just think about the risk that you'll, you'll be taking. But we're going to see. Time to tell. But, yeah, back to um, back to Charlo, though, man. Back to Charlo, y'all. Back to Charlo, because I did want to switch gears, man. Salute to everybody, man. Over here, we free to think what we want. Y'all can, you know, believe it if it sounds good enough for you. I just know better than that. I know better than that. You get what I'm saying? I know they ain't going to go from, they just not going to pay that guy no Earl Spence money. You get what I'm saying? For a guy that's not a huge draw at this point, that's still building his name. You get what I'm saying? Like people say, he 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 don't, he don't draw flies and shit, even though that's a, a stretch, but still again why would they pay that man all that money and who's gonna get their money back yeah tw twitter yeah it's just for if you want to argue really or be disrespectful to the fighters you know what i'm saying it's, i don't know who i'm I, i'm gonna say this too real quick i don't know who made it cool like i know everybody is um you know we all men and women we all adults at the end of the day right but I don't know who made it cool to disrespect athletes and, and people online. Like I don't I don't know who made that cool. Like I remember once upon a time it was a it was a lot more respect amongst interaction with fans and fighters. Now it's all toxicity and hella disrespect and tagging people names and talking crazy. It's wild, man. Twitter the wild wild west. That's why I peek at it every now and again. I don't really like it. 
You know what I mean? But we'll see. Let me say whoever stop talking to me and tell you we'll stop quitting. We'll see. I'll tell you what, man. We're going to see. Trust me, man. Um, I, I'll throw this out there, too. Everybody that's, that's um, you know, going on a smear campaign, none of those people can tell you with real confidence how he'll beat Shakur in a fight. And it's so real that most of those people haven't even had the conversation about how the fight will play out because they're 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 trying to keep everybody distracted with the rhetoric and the shit that don't matter. But none of this, none of this stuff being said changed the fact that damn near every time they get into the ring with a guy, they tell you that Shakur is levels above them. That's 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 what the part that they can't deal with. So the reality is that's what it is. Like, so no, you can have public appeal and public perception. And, you know, people are easily influenced in boxing anyway. They don't think for themselves. Like, you can tell a person a complete lie and they'll run with it. You get what I'm saying? So you don't need public perception. Just keep putting them W's in the, in the, in the column and keep keep beating ass and start start with Frank Martin. You get what I'm saying? It's the perfect person to start with. Oh, yeah, man. They getting that A-Rad money. <laughs> so the other things I don't want to talk about. Nah, I just... All the other stuff is is just like frivolous shit though, because it don't really mean nothing. Like my whole reason for coming here, and you and I tell him as soon as you tell Bill Haney to stop being one. I tell him as soon as you tell Bill Haney, you go tell Bill Haney that I tell Shakur that. You know what I'm saying? You you tell Bill that though. You tell him. You tell him that you tell him that when you somebody asks him a question, just answer that question and stop walking people down the block. And telling irrelevant shit that don't have nothing to do with what somebody asked. Him. Tell him that. But anyway, man, like I said, moving past this, because I don't I don't care to talk about all this uh other simple stuff. Again, y'all move further and further away from the fight. Like I don't care about all that other stuff, really. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like false narratives. Y'all, y'all, that y'all, y'all cool with pushing because it's super it's, it makes you sleep good at night. You get what I'm saying? But let's get to this, man. That would be wild if Charlo beat Canelo and went to fight Benavidez at 68. 160 be Charlo's next move. Yeah, man. Look, so since so side bad, but snitching from your side is okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And again, it, that that wasn't Shakur. That wasn't Shakur. That wasn't on his body. That wasn't they, that person chose to do it. What Shakur probably is responsible for is uploading and giving giving the idiots what they want. And that shit sizzling in their spirit and it hurt them. That's why they try to re-release some old ass sparring footage that, that that don't show people throwing a single punch. That's how you know you down bad when you re-release sparring footage that you already sent to a content creator to try to push a narrative. Then then you're trying to re-push the same narrative about quitting and people jumping on it like it's the first time you've seen it. We seen that weak ass shit a couple months ago. It's weak and it's pathetic. The fact of the matter is, and everybody that shared a ring with them, they say that man be levels above. Them. In a minute, matter of fact, y'all gonna make me play one of the people in a minute, man. I'm gonna play one of the videos y'all keep playing with me. <laughs> but let y'all know here from the horse's mouth, people's choice was good with it, bro. How you feel it too? I'm telling you, Darius, they don't like to call it out. They don't like to call it a, a solid, a solid. Call that shit all out, man. Don't just keep talking about Shakur and he ain't do it. Like, that's the thing. Y'all wanna put that on them too. That's why I say we live in a different reality. I, I get, I, I hold people accountable that are responsible. I'm not responsible for anything another grown man does. A grown man is not responsible for anything I do. You get what I'm saying? And no, no scenario am I going to make it that. If he did it, by all means, say he did it. Somebody else did it because they wanted to do it. That's on them. You don't know if he know now. You don't know if he knew it ahead of time and you know he didn't tell him to do it. He did it himself. Y'all just kept poking the bear and the bear got tired of y'all. Got tired of playing with y'all. He got tired of playing with y'all. That 53 seconds is way more valuable than that little seven second sparring clip that, that if y'all patch together a bunch of times still don't mean shit because you ain't seen a solitary punch being thrown. A real one, if you was trying to expose somebody and really trying to, you know, know that you weren't trying to create a narrative, you would have actually let people see the work and see that he was whooping his ass and nobody would have had to draw a narrative from it. Again, smoke and mirrors. I'm not buying it. Garbage. Garbage. He said enough. He always get out on us. Did you see how wide that gap was when he held his hands up? Come on, man. You really think he closed the gap and, and what? You really think he closed the gap? Hell no. That's the real question. 
that's the real question. I want to keep talking. Y'all going, y'all, 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 y'all going to hear what y'all don't like, man. Y'all going to hear what y'all don't like. Fact remains is he, he's a better fighter, bro. That's, that's all that is. He the better fighter. But anyway, back to Charlo. Back to Charlo, man. Y'all getting me all ties. Back to Charlo, man, because y'all doing it. Back to Charlo. But look, man, if Charlo is able to pull off this win, like I said, it's a tough battle, but it's not one he can't win. He's more than equipped with the skills and the tools to be able to beat a Canelo, but it's always easier said than done. You know what I mean? But like I said, man, if there's anybody that could do it, I think it's Charlo that could do it, especially if he looks like he did in any of his last few outings. He's going to have a tough fight. But I, like I said a minute ago, I expect him to look better than he's looked in, in, in recent fights. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I already know. I already know, John. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know y'all like that. Song. <laughs> yeah, I always told y'all that. He, Yo, listen, I will say this, and I'm going to say this with confidence, and I mean it. And and when it happened, I'll, I'll bet a couple of people. Can't bet everybody because I'm, I'm just a struggling content creator. But I could bet a couple of y'all some real money. He can't beat Shakur Stevenson at no weight, at no point in time in his career. Devin Haney is a very good fighter, very, very good fighter. Shakur Stevenson is a great fighter, in my opinion. I think that's the level right there. That's what separates them. We could break down the X's and O's footwork, the jab, who throws the hook battle, who controls distance, all those things, defense, everything, right? But at the, at the core of, of everything, you have potential generational talent, guy that's looked at as special. Then you got a guy that's very, very good that people build a lot of smoke and mirrors around to make him look better than what he is. That's just me. And that doesn't mean that he's not very good, but that when I see people go out of their way to, to constantly tear down and tear at fighters, whenever they're a threat to a guy that they lobby for, I, I, I see, I see insecurity there. You get what I'm saying? Again, and, and this is all due respect. Like, just think about something. Ever since that he got to 35, they've been, you know, he, and, and them two been a thing. You've been hearing a, 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 a surge of like hate and disdain for him that you've never heard before he became an immediate threat to people's favorite fighter. Now that that is the case, people are willing to try to, you know, magnify everything you do and try to make him look like the worst guy in the world. That That's an insecurity right there. I'm sorry. That's just what that is. If you have, if the fight notice Shakur fans don't do that, Shakur fans ain't, ain't going crazy making tons of videos going crazy to try to prove that Shakur is great because people are comfortable with what they see in the ring. So they don't have to they don't have to draw up narratives. They don't have to create narratives to make him look like something that he's not because we know what we see in him. At least a lot of us feel like we know what we see. So we don't have to go that route. I'm telling you right now and and this is for a lot of people they sh they make themselves look like they're insecure as fans because they want they rather attack the fighter instead of talk about how good of a fight it will actually be think about this you're not hearing no breakdowns of the fight at all you've heard all the rhetoric all the back and forth all the narratives you heard all of that stuff you're not hearing no educated breakdowns of how the fight will play out because people don't want to have that conversation they don't want to have it now i don't want to be redundant in here i want to i do want to move on i show love to all fighters i'm just giving my honest assessment that's no hate to a fighter that's what i see like, I've never seen a guy get hate because people think that he's going to be great. I've never seen this before until I looked at this. I'm like, dang, y'all hate him because people think that he's on a, 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 you get what I'm saying? That he's a potential generational talent. Y'all mad at that? You get what I'm saying? A lot of people share the ring with him, say the same thing. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know I, I haven't fought him. I ain't get punched in my face by him, but I know a lot of people that fought him, that they share the same sentiments. They see, they see what I see. So. You know what I mean? It is what it is. It's not just others are. I don't, I don't cap, man. Cap, but cap it don't come from me ever. You see people say facts. You see my family saying facts, and it'll be like one person saying cap. I never cap about anything. If you don't agree, say you don't agree, but that don't make me out to be a liar, especially if I'm stating what my opinion is. I ain't capping. I'm just saying what it is. That's that's what that's what I see. People don't have that. They don't talk. They don't want to talk about who will actually win the fight. I heard people say they don't even care. So they rather talk about all the other stuff because that that's where they hang their hat on the public perception. Because, it, again, it, it's not going to change the fact when they get in that ring, man, you're going to have to stand tall. You want you want to see who the better man is. Goose in the same category, Bud fans. 
P Hunter was good, man. You obviously blind and deaf. I don't know who you talking to, but I'm gonna ignore him. Even Debbie Daddy know the outcome of the fight. He said it to us, Aisha. He said it. He said it. Hey, uh, NK True, I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what you say. I don't even, this. I think this is my first time seeing you in here. If you don't like what I'm saying, you can slide. It's that simple. It's just my opinion. You you don't have to agree with it. If you, anything I'm saying is hate, then you, you something wrong with you. You obviously childish. You obviously childish. You obviously a child. Nothing I said was hate. I gave you my opinion on how I think the fight would play out and how I think people build and push false narratives around them because they're insecure about the talent that they really see in the ring. Don't tell hating, hating where? Weird ass dude. I big I big fighters up on this channel. Listen to the name, dude. Just do boxing, fool. Just because I think he can't beat another guy don't mean he can't get his just do. Gotta listen, man. I'm tired of y'all being weird. How old are you? You are you a teenager with you some type of kid or something? Do you know what hate is? Hate is what people are doing right now. Hate is what people are doing right now. Hate is what people are doing right now, trying to smear the reputation of another fighter. That's hate, goofy. Not me telling you I think another guy can't beat a guy at no weight, because I don't think so. I ain't straddling no fence I, to make people feel good. He can't beat that man. Can't I ain't heard one Haney fan educatedly break down how he'll beat him in the ring. Not one, bro. Not one. And we've been talking about this shit for months. I ain't heard not one. Nah, man. Nah, you ain't seeing them people. You ain't seeing them go on smear campaigns. You ain't seeing that, bro. Cause they ain't they they secure with the talent that they see in the ring. I'm trying to tell you. He said they don't know how to play. <laughs> yeah, right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's why I rock with the the, the the Jacksons, man. The Jackson duo, man. But yeah, do do be goofy. Like you don't know what hate is when you're hearing it, bro. But we off that. Let's talk about Charlo if he beat Canelo. The great fights that he got. Cause let me say this. I don't know if y'all seen the title. Beevil said, if Charlo win, he won a shot at Charlo. Who would have ever thought that that was a possible fight? Nobody thought they'd see a Charlo fight a Beevil and not even Maul Charlo. We talking about Mel Charlo. So let salute to the to the my real Haney fans in here. I rock with y'all because y'all know I rock with Haney. That's why I could rock with y'all, you know? But anyway, let's 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 talk about Beevil saying he won a shot at charlo man that'd be a damn good fight i tell you that but beaver ain't nothing to play with beaver 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 a little different bro beaver ain't nothing to play with salute to the to the, to the j twins man them my guys man and he's a very talented boxer but some fans are getting ahead of themselves i place him as the top of the talent the undisputed run yeah it was very easy average bx average boxing fan salute to you bro appreciate you pulling up Oh, wow, yeah, let's get the lines on. Let's salute to my, my guys that, that know how I give it up. I just, I get a little annoyed when people, that's why people say you are hating, because y'all childish and y'all sensitive. If I told you Devin Haney was the best thing in the world, he could beat everybody, I'd be a fanboy for that. So it's like, whatever, don't tell me how to think. I know what I see in the ring. <laughs> Beaver got a hell of a chin. Uh, uh, I seen him wobble once, and I think he got hit high on the head and he's got his equilibrium shot. I think that was Joe Smith that got him. Clipped him at the end of a round. That has to be before the seventh round or he loses. I don't think uh, this this is how I think this fight could go, man. This is why I think Charlo could beat him. Unless Canelo changes his stripes and all of a sudden just, you know, changes the way he approaches fights. I see him trying to, to land something big early. I see him like trying to press Charlo a little bit early and, and if he if he if he could land something big, he will. If Charlo could kind of neutralize Canelo and nullify some of his attacks for that first half of the fight, man, he, he got to control he he got to control the first half of the fight, man. So he could so he could have a better second half. You get what I'm saying? Canelo usually he go forward in the first half and he kind of simmer down toward the back half. Right. Yeah, they be mad as hell. Yeah, they be mad as hell. Like, man, they notice and, and you notice, I will tell you that I feel like a guy can beat another fighter, but never once saying nothing bad about that fighter. I'm just saying I think another guy will beat him. I never once said nothing bad about him as a fighter. That's how that's how you know people are sensitive and they just hear what they want. Oh, he said he could beat him. Oh man. Oh, yeah. And any weight class, oh my God, he's hating. Like you weird, man. Get out of here, man. <laughs> 
Only way Charles stays at 168. If he dominates Canelo, a close one is not enough to have him stay at 68. I feel that. But I wonder what he want to jump all the way back down after. You get what I'm saying? I know what he said, but I wonder what he want to go all the way back down after coming up. It's going to be a weird situation, yo. But yeah, that's that's a good point. Let's be worried about smaller fighters. Callum better be. I think average boxing nation, I think because he's seen the way they're moving, um, you know, with the better be fight. They don't really want to give him that fight. And I feel like Callum Smith and better be about to fight, right? And I feel like better be will win that fight. And they still not going to make that. They still not going to sanction that fight because they still having issues, obviously, right? And um, that's the weak part about it. So I think. I think he just kind of keeping his options open and he see it as a, a potential good fight and an opportunity. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I get you though, but I, I, again, it'd be an interesting matchup, especially if he can come down to 68. And so you're going to hurt him. Benavidez. That's, that's, that's my biggest worry for him. Quincy, the inactivity, bro. That's my biggest concern for him. And I think, I think it can, I think it definitely can more so in the back half of the fight, but be looking for it in the back half of the fight. Be, be, be remember I said it. I think if Andres start to have problems, it'll be in the back half of the fight for him. You know what I'm saying? Salute to my bro, Tim, man. Yeah, yeah. The family get it, man. I don't do hate. I just get fired up when somebody say that. Don't tell me I hate somebody. That is weird, bro. Just got to think he'll lose. I I dealt with that with Crawford, too. I'm like, man, that's weird. Blind, simple. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just big facts, bro. You know what I mean? It's that simple, bro. You never been a good. They don't know how to do it, John. They don't know how to do it, though. Never been a good idea to go up two weight classes and then go back down. That's what I'm saying, P. It'd be tough. A lot of strain on his body, and it wouldn't be smart. Facts, Quincy. That's a, it's gonna be tough. I like the y'all. Y'all know how I do. I like discussing the matchups outside of the soap opera stuff, man. I like the matchups, the actual fights. Canelo. I mean, Charlo fighting Canelo is great for boxing, man. For his own for his own reasons, obviously, man. It's a good fight. I don't think the size will play as much of a factor as people think, but I do. I do feel like he got to be, um, you know, um, cautious. I'll say of, of of Canelo's power. You know what I'm saying? I think that's something. You get what I'm saying? And fighting at the weight is is going to be the biggest challenge. But other than that, man, if he could come in at a healthy weight where he's able to move and 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 you know fight, and he'll be all right, man. It'll be a fun fight to watch too, man. I'm telling you. I heard him about her. He's never sure. <laughs> he talk out of both sides, though. He do. But it's like, I guess in this situation, like I say, <clears throat> I just connect dots that I feel like make sense to me. Sometimes people don't connect the same dots or the same stuff don't make sense to them. When I hear him say that and I see that no negotiation take place, I'd be like, ah, OK, that's where it makes sense for me. Visually, for sure. Right, man. Salute to my bro, Ant. Charlie Beats. I wouldn't fight, but why? Andre from a few years ago would be Benavidez, but all that time would play a big factor. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but um, yeah, Beevil, this, the thought of Beevil even going to 68 would be a fun fight to see Charlo fight him too, man, because, you know, Canelo wasn't trying to really fight him again. You know what I mean? It'd be a fun matchup, but again, uh, Charlo at 68 is fun period for that weight class because he already mentioned he'd be willing to fight Plant and Benavidez, and I'm telling you, I ain't never even thought of that matchup, Jamel, Charlo, and Benavidez, even a Jamel, Charlo, and Plant, you get what I'm saying? So I think that's a little crazy too. Damn. My bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad. But yeah, um, <clears throat> Bevo ain't nothing to play with though. I'm telling you, he bet he one of the best rhythm fighters I think it is in boxing. And he got a he got he, he got a style that, you know, is really effective, man. You hear what I'm saying? He active fighter, he got good feet. He be dancing in there. He got a good active jab. He can get a bit aggressive when he when he need to. And and I, I like his temperament. When he need to step it up, you'll you'll see him do it, man. Bevo Bevo got some little nastiness to him to his fight game too. He got robbed out of his career. Me too, Quincy. I will say, bro, it, it was a number of things with him. Bad business, maybe bad decisions. You get what I'm saying? But ultimately, like the business of boxing just wasn't hasn't wasn't good to to, to Andre, bro. So I was gonna have to box Canelo more than slow. Absolutely, P. Yeah, facts, bro. Facts. 
And that's the whole thing, boxing move, lateral movement. He he know it. He's saying some of the right things. That's what it got to be, lateral movement, no stationary target, getting out from in front of him. Don't get too greedy. You get what I'm saying? Back, not against the ropes. But you got to be you got to be switched on defensively because Canelo got fast hands, man. And I could see that being a – I could see that being an area of uh, a, a challenge for him, like dealing with, you know, Canelo got some good hand speed, man. But he fight in spurts. Charlo has to know that. That man likes to fight in spurts. I haven't seen him fights too much where he hasn't done that, especially in recent memory. The man fights in spurts. So Canelo, I mean, Charlo going to have to understand that and box him, move, get his, get out. You know what I mean? I say height don't fight, but reach can teach. You got the reach advantage, utilize every inch. You know what I mean? Teach what's good with it, bro. How you feeling? You get what I'm saying? So, again, it, it's all about game plan and execution. He got to he got to execute whatever game plan it is. He got to execute it. You get what I'm saying? He got to be able to neutralize some of the things Canelo like to do. And um, we already know Canelo go good. He go to the body real good. Uh, man, you know he like to throw them hooks, and he got him. He got a nasty uppercut. So um, Charlo got his he got his work cut out for him. But like I said, this is what he in it for. He understand the, the challenge that is Canelo. And I know the opportunity came in a in a in a, in a you know a, a, a weird fashion, but hey, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. <clears throat> like I said, I'm all with guys challenging themselves and um trying to be the best man and, and tr chasing greatness. And I think that's what Charlo doing, trying to fight Canelo. And if he's able to be successful, <clears throat> we already know it's fights like a potential Crawford fight for him but th this is the thing y'all this is the thing and this is why i said i don't know if he's gonna come down because i don't know if y'all heard you remember initially crawford was saying that he'll andrew was good with it bro he said he'll 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 go uh he wouldn't go up to fight canelo he's saying like they got weight classes for a reason remember he kind of changed his tune and since then he said he'll go as high as 168 and fight Canelo. But he also said he'll go up to 68 and fight Charlo as well. So if if that if that Crawford fight is really a fight he want, I mean, he might not have to go down to get it, man. Crawford might come up to him if he'll be a man in his word because that's exactly what he said. Not only did he change his tune on going up to fight Canelo, he also said he'll fight Charlo at 168 too. And again, if he beats Canelo, so a lot of these people are saying, you know, it's a lot going on. You just it's basically wins for certain guys create other opportunities for other guys. If Charlo is to win, you know, you got a Crawford fight. You know, you got Plant Benavidez fight for him. Potentially, you got Bevel saying he's willing to fight him. Those are his options. Right. Canelo, you know, every option is possible for him if he beat Charlo. Right. You get what I'm saying? He could he could entertain a, a Crawford fight. You get what I'm saying? He could finally get Benavidez a shot. It's a number of different things he could do. So I, I just like boxing when 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 good fights create other potential good fights. That's how we continue to get, I think, what we want. And I think Charlo even participating at 68 just kind of shakes things up because you can't say <clears throat> in 2023 that you would have you would have predicted Charlo being at 168 and challenging Canelo for his for his belts for undisputed. You just could have never predicted it. So I think this is what boxing need more guys taking more risks. And I think we need, we simply put, I think Charlo's going to be the underdog. We need, we need more underdogs to win because I think the underdogs going to give us more of the fights we want. You get what I'm saying? I think some of the favorite guys, like guys like Canelo sometimes is complacent in terms of giving us the fights we want. So I'm just, that's why I be pulling for Mel because I think about it. He's jumping up there to get smoked with him. It's nobody he won't fight. There's nobody you, you're going to convince me that Mel Charlo won't fight. And he, he'll, he'll duck. he fight Canelo, he'll fight anybody, bro. He'll fight anybody. You can tell Bub, the young undisputed, doesn't want to wait till the fastest route, and I respect it. Yeah, right. He don't, right? He, I mean, he do. He want to go that, you say, in the fastest route, right? He wants the fastest route there, yeah. I think Charlo can win, and I want him to win. He's a better boxer than me. Has to be smart. Weight class favors Canelo, so I feel he might win. Canelo, a good boxer as well. Flat feet, but good. Facts, facts teach. And very um, very strong in there. He physically got strength and got good power, good body shots, good hand speed. He fights in spurts well. 
You get what I'm saying? But he has a lot of lows and breaks in the action where he just don't fight. You get what I'm saying? And I think those moments is Jamel Charlo really got to take advantage of. Him. He said, Mel just jumped his brother. Right. He did, didn't he? It's crazy how it happened. It's crazy. It's crazy. Akello. This is what I'm saying. Who could have predicted this stuff happening? Who could have predicted that inactivity for Maul? You know what I mean? And, and then in the process of that, Mel Charlo being undisputed and then going to challenge itself some more is crazy. Salute to Miss Joette. Appreciate you, Queen. In that super chat, a little something for the grind. Got to run outside. Have a great evening. You have a great evening as well, Queen, and be safe out there. Much love and appreciation. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these, but, 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 but now it's time year. for you to get your just do. Salute to Mr. I appreciate you. Make a break, Andre. If you lose, he can end up being a gatekeeper. Mm, yeah, well, it's going to have some big uh, implications on the back end. I hope he can pull this off. Man, I like I like both guys, though. I like Benavidez, but it seemed like, it seemed like because of Benavidez's age that he could afford a loss more so than Andre because of the age. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a bounce back loss for him wouldn't be bad. Say he go get out box or something. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for him. But if Andre go in there and he get pummeled on and, and beat up and at 35, you know, it might just be a little tougher for him to get where he need where he trying to get. So it's, it's, it's gonna be tough. These some tough fights for these dudes to win. Man, it'll be more than 168 facts. And Kello is crazy. We, we couldn't have predicted it, bro. We couldn't have predicted it, man. Said I got Mel winning 7-5. Yeah, Joe, we need that energy, man. Talk to him. That's, uh, and I hope if he don't, if if Canelo not up rounds, you know what I'm saying? If Canelo not up rounds, Joe, you know he come up, he going there three rounds up, bro. Well, he been quiet as hell since he got that belt. Anybody seen him? Oh, Quincy, what happened was... <clears throat> He was ordered to fight O'Harry Davies. He was ordered to fight O'Harry Davies, and he was supposed to report it to have some type of medical situation. But they're reviewing it to make sure that he actually was hurt. Like they 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 told him they needed proof. So it's some type of review or something going on. I was just reading it a little bit. Some type of you know review that they they going over to make sure. I think that Roley actually had an injury. You get what I'm saying? So that's what happened with Roley. He was ordered to fight the dude O'Harry Davies that um Josh Taylor beat up a few years back. That was he remember dude used to have a lot of mouth from the UK. I don't know if you remember that fighter, but that's that's what's up with Roley. So he on the hook with him. You know what I mean to fight that guy. Better be this had to be cautious with Andrew. Yeah, he's a fast starter. Facts and he is. He is a fast starter. He is. And he's sharp fast. I just hope he can conserve himself, his gas tank, so he don't slow down in the back end of the fight and put himself in situations where where Benavidez can just you know what I mean? Go to work. Like, he he don't need that. You can't get tired with Benavidez, man. You're going to be in trouble. I'm sorry, I got Frank to him. <laughs> That's why I rock with the brothers, man. That's why I rock with the brothers, man. Y'all y'all can have y'all opinion no matter how different. I ain't seen one of y'all get emotional and, and, like, be disrespectful yet, yo. And that, that matters to me. So we could joke all day and definitely... We're going to have our fun when our guys got to lock up and fight. It's going to be fun because y'all know how to have fun with this stuff. So y'all just believe what y'all believe, and it's cool. And I rock with y'all both. So salute to the uh, the brothers. Mike Kirk, I like Rui, but that chin shot. Yeah, I think Tank shook something up, man. I think he shook something up. BBO Boxing, what's good, family? Came and smashed that like button. Appreciate that, fam. Oh, I will do the same, man. Salute to you. Keep grinding. JJ, salute, fam. How you feeling? Yes, sir, man. Family doing good. Baby boy started flag football. My my son is greedy as ever. You know what I'm saying? Greedy as ever, getting bigger by the day. My daughter is 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 me, <laughs> like teenagers are. <laughs> salute to you, JJ. Appreciate you, fam. Benavidez and Andre it could be an instant classic. Yeah, it could, Bole. Uh, and I hope it play out in that manner. You get what I'm saying? For 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 the sake of boxing. You get what I'm saying? I really hope it when, when they done fighting, we look at that as one of the best fights that we got this year. And that'll really be saying something, given fights that we've seen this year, right? So I, I, I just hope, oh, well, when they get it, they, I hope it's this year. I think it'll be before the year out. They should be fighting. So, yeah. 
No, no, I already know Joe. It's fun, it's fun though. And I, 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 and again, that's the reason I let people know who my favorite fighter was. So you can see when as situations come and, and they cause me to have to call it down the middle, I'm gonna do that for if for a quick example, when he missed weight, I made a whole live talking about it. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I call fighters out when they need to be called out, but I do it without tearing them down. You know what I'm saying? But definitely that fight needs to happen i can't it's going to a purse bid so we gonna get it and i can't wait to see it yeah man yeah well <clears throat> he damaged that chin damage man only else when i make a fighter gatekeeper gatekeeper is normally fighters uh yeah yeah no but see I, i'll say this people's choice and you're right i'll say this though the reason i think bro said um gatekeeper is because of the age not the, not the amount of losses i think he's saying like with him being 35, you know, you lose. I don't expect them to retire, right? So I think at that point, like with the age, like you can start to, you get what I'm saying? Be in a position where, you know what I mean? You stick around for a while, you could fall into that gatekeeper status. That's how I interpret it. Like he didn't say all of that, but I, I look at it like that's why he's saying it. You get what I'm saying? I consider the age and, you know, the wrong kind of loss. You get what I'm saying? And, and sticking around too long to put you in that, in that situation. You get what I'm saying? But I, I'm with you. One loss definitely he he'll, he'll still be, you know, he'll still be Andre, depending on how he lose for sure though. Only got that bell ran to the border in the small town of Mexico. He don't want to fight nobody for a Quincy. Like, man, I'm milking this. Frank didn't sign yet. Um, no, nah, I think it's a um I think it gotta go to purse bid. I forget the date on it. Uh is it September? September 5th, 6th, or something like that. It's supposed to go to purse bid, I believe. And I I I feel I feel like Frank could definitely um Sign a contract. And course stops Frank. I'm like, no bull. Um, man, that'd be that'd be crazy, Jonathan. If he um it had to be like TKO-ish or something like that. You get what I'm saying? I, I will say this. Um, you know, out of the two fights that I've seen his, his live, you get and I'm glad that I seen him back like back to back. And I'm glad that I was able to see like his last fight at 130 and then his first fight at 135. I think he a bit stronger for sure, for sure. I seen that like physically, like and and, and I seen the, the pop on the punches being there. Like I remember hearing them joints. So I just think he he where he belongs is why he look a little bit stronger there. So I think as a result, like he got more than enough punch and power to get your respect. You get what I'm saying? I don't think he's gonna be in situations where guys gonna be just walking through him. You know what I'm saying? Might not get too many opportunities for any promotional entities, right? Right, and like, like Keith about to be true, true Aisha, and that's what he he got to get a move on. And I like Keith, Keith, Keith Thurman too. Let's do. Oh, now you want to remind her, Mar, Mar, Mar. Uh, man, she uh took baby boy to uh flag football, uh, you know, for flag football practice or something like that. He just started. Who Loma gonna fight next year? It seemed like they was trying to give him um Gersage Court and Frank over Frank. Um it seemed like they was trying to set up him and Cambosis for real. Cause that'd be a, that'd be a for sure win for him, right? And they Cambosis keep talking about some stadium fight. And something tells me they still like Cambosis, obviously, because they, they gave him a, that gift decision against Maxi Hughes. So somebody definitely still like Cambosis, right? And I think they could just be positioning him to sacrifice him to a guy like Loma. I could see that. Letting Loma fight him to get a win back, get some confidence. You know what I mean? And, and then from there, I don't know what where Loma goes, right? Because the fact that he said no to Shakur is annoying. I would have rather seen that fight. Shakur School and Frank might be wrong again. Right, Mike, Mike could be wrong, man. I always say, like, I just see it being very competitive and, you know, um, Frank do some things in there very well, but I think ultimately, like, Shakur's ability to slow the fight down, control the pace, and the distance and range will be in the pedigree and will um, get him over the, over the hump. And experience, too, like, being a, dude, a guy that's been boxing since you was five, all the way up until your current age of 26. Like I said before, 21 years, as opposed to a guy pick up boxing at 18, who is now 28, that's 10 years to, to 21. I do the math, I'm like, it's a ton of experience, a shit ton of experience that that man got in them 11 years or so. You know what I mean? You add an Olympics into the equation, it just makes for a real good fighter. 
And I mean, that's why y'all always hear me speak about his pedigree. And that's why I think uh, it separates him from a lot of fighters, too. If I winning two rounds, is that bad? It, hell yeah, for him it is. I always say stuff like that, too, Jonathan. It's crazy. Because I'll, I'll say with Frank, I'll be generous. I'll say between two to four rounds. He ain't getting more than four. And that's being generous for me. And I know that. But that's just me being also open to the fact that Frank might raise his level on the night for Shakur, right? Might be the best version of Frank Martin that we've seen thus far. And in doing so, he might be able to win some rounds, right? But I, I'll say this, though, from, from what I've seen, you know, on obviously in front of me on, on film and just in person, it's very hard to win rounds against somebody that controls the pace, distance, and range very, very consistently well. And and, and not only that, they, they can transition from offense to defense, like, you know what I mean? And vice versa with, with ease, with extreme ease, like, you know what I'm saying? His his position in there, foot position. He got some of the better feet. He got underrated feet, believe it or not. Because they, I hear people say Shakur flat footed, but I don't think they pay attention to how you know how he uses feet, foot position, and things like that. He's he's, he's very smart at uh, using that uh using them feet. Can you keep showing he's a good time getting the ring with Frank Martin? <laughs> I hear people asking, but you know what? Well, I will say I did like his energy when they seen each other, bro. I do like it. I did like it. I did like it. Cam versus Keyshawn Loma does a one that retires as a thought. That's a cool fight, Gertz. That's a cool fight for him, too. A few times I was stuck, but the last time I watched, I think Loma asked that, honestly. Yeah, I feel you. It's real cool being more aggressive that fight too yeah it could be oh and i'll say this quincy the thing with loma in that fight would definitely you know i always felt like dad took it because of the 12th round too that got him the edge and <clears throat> when i read that loma took his foot off the gas and the 12th i was like yeah you definitely lost you get what i'm saying you you gotta give 110 percent, especially in an undisputed title fight you get what i'm saying you got the opportunity of a lifetime you leave everything in the ring there ain't no taking the foot off the gas and i was disappointed to hear that an experienced fighter of that level, of a Loma's level, would say something like that. He took the foot off the gas against a young boy that was pressing. He came in pressing you. He he had, he was on a mission. I did like his his ad, and and that's again, man. If and, and, and the the video is up too. This is just real quick for anybody that would call me a Devin Haney hater. Please go watch my live stream when I called the fight live and listen to listen to me call that fight and tell me do that sound like somebody that's a, a hate a hater. Man, one day I'm going to do that. I'm going to really pull that up and let y'all hear how, how it was sounding while he was fighting this dude. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, people will be amazed. They're like, damn. You know what I'm saying? You'll be amazed, man. Everybody gets they just do is my point. When it was Rob, I don't think he was Rob. I just think he let, let up off the gas. And I think that's what cost him. I'll be on it. We'll push him as a champion again. Garrett, I believe that. I believe they will push him as a champion again. I do. I do. That boo boo is gonna take you, Benavides. Shh, that's gonna be tough. Send him to the hospital. I'm gonna look into it. I forgot that. I forgot you said something else about that. He uses back. <laughs> Funny, I don't want to come out and say one well, has choked in the biggest fights, lost the day T on the big stage. Now that's the A1. You know that's factual, bro. He has the biggest stages, the biggest fights he lost, biggest opportunities. T O beat him fair and square, and then Dad beat him. Definitely, you know what I mean? Yeah, nah, facts, Joe. You and your, you and your bro, I already, I get y'all. I understand y'all. We we definitely good. Like, it, it, and y'all make it more fun because I know y'all know how to have fun, and it's refreshing to see people that know how to. You could stand tall on your opinion, but still respect mine and still have fun with it. Like y'all know how to do that, so we gonna always be good. I'm gonna always rock with y'all. I definitely want to do better versus Loma. I thought he was going to make it a little more convincing, too. You always gave Devin's credit inside that ring. Just do you get what I'm saying, Mike? They don't get it, bro. I have no hate. I just feel like certain people can beat certain people. If I'm wrong, then I'll just be wrong, but I'll still support the fighter that I was wrong about even more because he proved me wrong. You get what I'm saying? Check out the new Tracy Morgan stand-up if you haven't. Appreciate you, Tim, man. You always good, bro. Appreciate that, man. I should write that down, too. Tracy Morgan. What is it on? What, what is on, Tim? Netflix? How we lost to Jermaine Ortiz. Yeah, right. And, and I watched that fight recently, A1. I, I watched that fight recently, A1. I, man, I felt like Ortiz pulled it off, bro. I ain't, I ain't, I don't feel bad to saying it. 
hit that that first half of the fight was just so convincing to me. His first half was more convincing than the half that Loma picked it up in, is what I'm saying. The first half of the fight was won more convincingly by Jermaine Ortiz than the second half of the fight was won by Loma. And that's why I felt like Jermaine Ortiz won. You get what I'm saying? I definitely did, man. He, I felt like he got it all. Andre cut his hair. Yeah, right, right, right. Cut that hair. He going back. He going back, man. But facts, um, 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 A1. Yeah, man. Ortiz did his damn thing, HBO Max. Okay. Bet, bet, bet. Appreciate you. I'm going to check it out for sure then. Because I need to laugh. I ain't going to lie, Tim. I need some good laughs, bro. All right, after that, Devin versus Loma was very close. I can see how both could be called the winner. Right. Major Loma beat the brakes off Devin. Yeah. <laughs> last night when I seen it. I need some good laughs, Tim. Appreciate you, bro. Devin was throwing his brick enough, and it was there all night. <laughs> he was throwing that brick. He was letting Loma have it. He was, he was beating his body up. I thought that was um, a smart tactic by Dev. I think for him to go to his body was um, intelligent. I mean, and I think it, it kind of caught um, Loma by surprise a little bit. And I think um, Dev and Bill did their homework because I think Lomachenko is known for giving up body shots. And I think they, they picked up on that. And they was able to, you get what I'm saying? They was able to make some things happen because of it. It's like they knew. You know what I'm saying so that 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 was smart. You get what I'm saying? I was smart. And the biggest credit that I give Dev in the fight with Loma is not allowing him to um turn into the matrix. He didn't allow him to matrix him. You get what I'm saying? He had them couple rounds where it got spooky, but Dev put a stop to it. He picked it up right before he could allow Loma to really get going. How Loma get going, and it you know what I'm saying? He neutralized those moments for for Loma. By, by taking that, you get what I'm saying? When I say be the matrix, you know, just having his way in there. And, you know, usually, like, usually when Loma has some back-to-back -back good rounds, that usually be the start of the end for the fighter. Either you're going to get, like, a stoppage or a TKO stoppage, maybe something like that, start putting hands on you, you're just going to get beat up for the rest of the fight. And and I noticed that, and but I noticed once he got them couple rounds, Dev did enough to slow all that down. He... He stopped that moment from he stopped the fight from getting away from him. You get what I'm saying? Where a lot of young fighters would fold in those moments. That's why it's a lot of different ways to break the fight down, give people credit. If people just listen to everybody's assessment, if you could get past who people feel like won or, or lost, it's still a great fight by both guys. They they tested each other, bro. That's my thing is when we say it's a 50 50 fight and i see it play out close like 50 50 i'm not surprised because i know what a 50 50 fight looks like and 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 let me just say this not only was it like 50 50 on paper it was 50 50 in the ring get what i'm trying to say all fights don't play out 50 50 in the ring they'd be 50 50 on paper but then in the ring it'd be something different so yeah haney winning seven five right me too andre is on the show I went against him. Yeah, man, I like, I like, I like Andre, bro. I like Andre. Homework, Matia won 20 mil fight. Yeah, I did hear about, I heard about that. That was wild. That was wild. I did hear something about that. Spinning with Loma. With Loma tried to get the angles right, right. <clears throat> and he's athletic enough to do so. So, he, you know, the same exact look that Loma get when he take those certain angles, he wasn't getting them all with, with, with Dad. Dad was neutralizing some of that shit. So, you know what I mean? He definitely had his moments where it got a little nerve wracking where Loma was getting all with them left, straight lefts and things like that. So, you know what I'm saying? But he, he figured it out, man. The fighter hated glasses and I thought that was lost. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, bite. Tier one and Devin and he split. For real, right? You get what I'm saying? That's what he want. He want that bread. He ain't gonna get it. He ain't gonna get it though. He ain't gonna get it. But um, T.O. salute to uh L Dub boxing man. T.O. is um, the hell I was about to say T.O. is uh. They working on a fight between him and Jose Pedraza is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing around a Super Bowl time, Super Bowl weekend, or Super Bowl, one of them. One of them. I'm hearing that uh, T.O. could be 
You know what I mean? Fight Jose Ramirez, not Pedraza. I said Pedraza, Jose Ramirez. My bad, y'all. That bread schools right around the corner. Need them schools. I get what I'm saying. Get, get, give us that. Give us that. Uh, they need to give me something we could come up off. We need a fight that we could come up off. What fight we gonna put some money on, y'all, man, and win? Got no sauce. Wait, bully cruiser. Wait, we gonna see. We gonna see, man. I like I like Andre and his skill set too, man. I'm glad he got a meaningful fight. I'm just I just hate the fact that it had to take this long for him to get it, but it is what it is. I'm pretty sure he's putting in the work. From what I see, he's working hard. So I know he's gonna do his damn best to stay uh, remain undefeated and, and come out on top. I know he's gonna do his damn his damn best. So Tevin Farmer, Kid Austin. Mm. That'd be interesting, bro. Day off all Friday. Ain't gonna get it. Ain't gonna get it. Hope you don't get it. <laughs> right, Tim. Hope you don't get it. Ain't no way to the get 20 plus million unless they fight a tank until might, but Devin, I can't see it. Right, right. I'm telling you, that's why I say people. See, it wants to be on the front of the 32 million t shirts. <laughs> For Frank, better all your money on Frank. Easy win. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, was Andre Benavidez yet? Nope, I was hearing Benavidez ain't signed a contract or something, bro. I was hearing Benavidez ain't signed a contract. Two versus Gay Antoine Russell. Wins, whoo, man. Tevin Farmer's my guy, never too late. I like Tevin Farmer, man. Um, Damn, Tio and Gay Antoine, bro. <laughs> man, um. That's an interesting fight, bro. That definitely could go either way, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause the the thing is, Gary Antoine's style, man. I think he's gonna give a lot of guys problems, especially as he continue to be like polish his style, man. That's that's a 50-50, bro. Oh man. I know Tio got more big fight experience, so maybe I could lean towards Tio, but you give Gary Antoine a couple more fights, man. I don't know. Even if I'm leaning towards Tia, it's going to be in a tough fight. Jojo and Kid Austin next. That'll be a good fight, too. Yeah, I heard Benavidez ain't signed a contract. Jojo and Kid Austin is a good fight. <laughs> David Haney Vidas signed a contract. <laughs> I like that one, Kello fool. <laughs> he said David Haney Vidas. Oh, shit, man. I like that one. Andre working with Rosier and fight. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Facts. He looked like he's trying to get like his weight right and acclimate to the weight class, uh, Mike, because he um uh, remember he um this would be what his second fight there, right? So I know he's trying to, you know, acclimate to that weight class properly so he can have a, a damn good fight because he's gonna need to be on point for Benavidez. Did Spence activate the rematch? Yes, sir, Tim. Yes, he did. Let me see something really quick. Yes, he did. Uh we definitely did. We're going to talk about something else, too, before I get up out of here. Um, there's one more thing I was going to talk about. Another matchup. Give me one second. I'm going to pull it up for you. Y'all punch the like button, sub to the channel if y'all have it, man. Y'all know, y'all already know. Turn y'all know these on. Rock out with your boy. I'm going to pull this up right now for you, Tim. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, his style, man. Yes, Sean Porter with more power. With more power. And he might, be, he might be a little more polished, a little more refined earlier in his career. Uh, and you get what I'm saying? Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. You get what I'm saying? I think he only going to get better. I mean, but yeah, Andre is on him. 140 is open, in my opinion. Yeah, it's not a number one guy. Yeah, it is open, Ash. There's champions, but there's not a solidified number one guy, Ash. You're 100% right, in my opinion. I mean, Antoine has all these guys, 35 and 40. I feel you. Versus Tank, 50 50, right? They had a new interview, did he? Diddy, Diddy, salute to De Debbie. Salute to Debbie, man. Salute to Debbie. Maybe I'll check it out. I'll get all. Uh, 
you can't stop the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, there I go right there. Um, uh, Tim is saying Errol Spence has now officially activated his rematch clause to fight Tans Crawford again next. Crawford's trainer, Brian Bo Mac McIntyre, has confirmed. So he said, he said it. It was kind of the guy 140. Mm. I see why you say kind of the guy too, Akello. I'm with you on that. I'm with you. The belts did teal to all talent. Mm. Uh, the W, what do you got? The WBO and the Ring Magazine, I think. I think. I think those the one WBO yeah and that uh, what was it the ring magazine belt that he was about to flip about them not giving it to him in the ring so yeah um Tim he, he activated that joint so he wanted back in blitter he wanted back in blitter I ain't surprised though man I ain't surprised I know none of y'all are either with with EJ wanting to smoke. WBO and Lineal. Right. But um, yeah, so he activated. So look, we I guess we, we I don't guess we got another fight. The rematch will be coming. You know what I mean, we we get a rematch. Definitely get a rematch. Let's get it though. And the way he says he's gonna do. It's true indeed, bro. Did you think the rematch is too soon for Earl? <clears throat> Um, you know why I don't? I, I don't because I think, um, you know, with the right time off and, and less weight to cut and just having a opportunity to come into the fight healthier at a healthier weight, I think he'll be all right. You get what I'm saying in terms of health, unless there's something else wrong with him that we, you know. You know what I mean? Maybe we didn't account for or, or you know, so other than that, I think I, I think he'll be all right. I think the opportunity for him to fight at a, a healthier weight should be a plus for him. You know what I'm saying? And I understand, you know, loss, you feel like a tough loss, you need time off. Like, you got to think he just had some time off, right? Think about it. He's coming off a layoff, right? So I don't think he want to, you know, extend the time off. I think he want to kind of, you know, take the, you know, no, Necessary rest and, and try to get back to it. Andre Benavides, if they're gonna shine, they both fight. All eyes will be on them. Facts, they do. People's choice. Fact, true indeed, bro. True indeed. Okay, I'm not watching none of that. Huh. Too fresh for them. Uh, that uh, it's possible. It's possible, but. I'm also hearing y'all that they was a uh, they was against they was against Spence taking his rematch from what I hear a little bit. I don't know how how solid it is just yet. I can ask around, but I did hear about um you know them being against him taking his rematch, and I think he he he's you know he said the hell with it. So you know Spence a real one if he he been advised not to take the rematch and he's still taking it. Because I think people was ready to say he going to duck the rematch and things like that. They was already ready to push that narrative, yeah, without even allowing this man to take his time to decide, you know, what he wanted to do. So, now here we are. He activated, so it's good for him. Um, we'll see, man. I'm rocking with him either way. Another being like that, if he gets stopped again in his career, it's going to be tough. Back-to-back -back losses, uh, Quincy, is tough. It's definitely tough. It's not Russell for some reason. Okay, Russell's crap. You don't box. Yeah, Russell be coming in and beat you up, bro. He be really coming in and beat you up. That's what I like about his style the most. He be coming in there and beat you up. <laughs> Make no mistake about it, Gary Antoine Russell coming in and beat you up, bro. And beat you up. And I like I like to see it from him, man. I like to, I like the young gear, the young gear. But Took little no punishment. Yeah, he did. That that's that was crazy. Um, Quincy Spence went against his people to make the first fight. He's gonna make this fight. Yeah, facts. That's how you just know you get a different dude. That's why I don't understand the slander. I never understood it. 
I don't get the buzz slander either. It's just not necessary. Like, you ain't got to like them. You can still feel how you feel. I'm just talking about the slander. Like, I just don't get it. I don't feel that way about these fighters. Like, I don't be mad as soon as they don't do something I, I, I would like to see them do. Man, damn strap season, big fish. EJ know what needs to be done, man. man. I can't wait to talk about him, man. Talk about it. Bruce Gas, Boxing Jazz, and more. Salute, OG. How you feeling? Ain't Tio going to catch him with some, some bass. Yeah, man, he could, bro. That shit, he could, for sure. Room for Spence in any fight. Hope he proves me wrong. All right. You know what I mean, I hope he proves you're right. I mean, you're not wrong. He's going to prove you're right, Mike. He's going to prove you're right. He's going to prove you're right. But, yeah, man, I think, I think you know, I ain't saying this automatically changes the outcome because of the weight, but I think in terms of what he'll, what he'll have to offer on fight night will be drastically different than what we've seen on July 29th. You get what I'm saying? And I try not. I try to make it so that I don't make any excuses for him because I don't want to sound like nobody that's making him. Then why would I want to make excuses for a guy that didn't make him for himself? You get what I'm saying? So I just know I seen a much better version of an Earl Spence in in the ring before, and I, I ain't no fool for saying that. Like I know what I seen. You get what I'm saying? I know I seen a guy that just aside from what happened before something happened to him, he just looked like he didn't have it on the night for whatever reason. I mean, man, kudos to Crawford. He did his thing. Great fight. He deserved his victory lap. He deserved his kudos. And, uh, you know, he deserved his money fights. Go go for it, man. Be some new match. I'll go by what I see. Right. Right, Mike. Could just be that. You know, uh, he, he could be a bad style matchup for him, for EJ. Hold on. What the hell? Y'all give me two seconds, family. Yeah, you good. That's my mom. But well, yeah, man, where is Tim Zoo going to fit in all this man? He's at 154. Yeah, he fighting um he fighting Brian Man Brian Mendoza, uh Quincy. Tim Zoo fighting Brian Mendoza next. But he said he also said he welcomes the um the fight with Charlo as well. I feel like Charlo is a very tough guy to beat. But he welcomes the challenge, so he'll fight him. But that's the next fight for Tim Zhu. Um, Tim Zhu and Brian Mendoza up next. And that should be an interesting fight, a good fight. But um, Tim Zhu, Brian Mendoza are going to have his work cut out. Tim Zhu, strong, man. He's strong. Dude, uh, active. You get what I'm saying? He, ah, man. Tim Zhu, uh, he confident right now. He, he building some momentum. I think he's slightly getting better. Tim Zoo's a, a, a solid fighter, man. Solid fighter. I think Mendoza, him Mendoza should be entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what uh what kind of game plan Mendoza draw up. That's what's going to be important. That's going to be key because if he fight the wrong fight, he could find this find himself sleep early like um Carlos Ocampo. That's why Carlos Ocampo got did the way he did against Tim Zoo. He fought the wrong fight. He tried to go in there and be too tough the way he was in his last fight and, and it backfired bad. Yeah, yeah, facts. He said that. He, fa he said that, Joe. He said, yeah, he welcomed the challenge with Bud Crawford. He said he's, he admitted that he's a real a tough guy to beat, but he said he welcomes the challenge and he'll like to fight him. That's why I say it's a lot of, it's a lot of options out there and on the table for these guys depending on which way they go, however they uh, swing it. You know what I'm saying? You 
We're gonna see, man. It's it's all dependent on the decisions that that these fighters make. Like what Bud Crawford gonna do? Is he? I doubt. I think he's done at forty seven. I don't think he'll see Bud Crawford at thirty. I mean forty seven again. And I think the only thing next up for him is 54, 60, 68, something like that. Like he said, like I like I told y'all, Bud Crawford said he is willing to not only go to 168 and fight Canelo, but fight Charlo if Charlo wins. So seemed like he want the winner of that fight in a sense. And then you got Dimitri Beaver saying he'll he'll fight Charlo if he beats Canelo. So it's it's a lot of uh, you know interesting matchups to come from all this, man. <laughs> they 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 gon they gonna always talk, Garrett. They gonna always talk. <laughs> they can have it, but we still ain't we still ain't pushing no narratives. They can have that, and that's that's on everything. Like it's a lot. It's some logical people that shot that down that I trust their opinions. It ain't just me that felt like that about that bogus narrative, man. But the thing with me is, you notice the difference between me. I don't, I don't, that's why I don't use nobody's name. Like when I speak on things, cause I know how a uh, girly mouth people be, but I stand on anything I say. I feel like that shit is a narrative and it's bogus. It's not good for the sport of boxing. Cause it's misinformation. It's very misleading. Let's salute to you, bro. Yeah, it seems tough. Yeah, he tough, man. Cause he confident. He building momentum. You get what I'm saying? He's strong. He got some good punching power. He can box a little bit. Get what I'm saying? He, he's slightly getting better. You know, dudes is uh kind of entering his prime, man. Tim Zhu, decent fighter, man. I ain't trying to say you no know, world beater yet, but I, I know an improved fighter when I see one, and he he present a good challenge for the, for for a lot of these dudes. Not saying he'll beat him, but I think Mendoza definitely gonna have his uh his work cut out for him. They got to do another spot. We get regular. Yeah. I'm not. I'm really probably trying to keep me in the loop, but uh, it's all good. Mendoza for the upset, yeah. At Kello, that'd be about his third one. Joe said, "You know, it's real." Hey, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all right now, bro. One thing about me, because I have zero emotional attachment. I promise y'all, like with everything, like a man, man to man, not even kind of talking as a content creator, as a man. If I if I even felt like that was remotely true or it was possible, I wouldn't defend it at all. I wouldn't even argue about it. I would just say it is what it is, right? And I'd be like, he wild for that. That that I would look at him like, damn, that that's just crazy to me that you would turn down that much money. Get what I'm saying? For a guy that essentially would be weight dream. Get what I'm saying? So I think it would be crazy, but I'm definitely not running with it though. I ain't running with it. Sorry. I. I still support people whether I agree or disagree. I'm not an agree or disagree person. I just support the cook. If I catch it, I catch it. Certain stuff I don't tune into because it, it ain't for me. I know that about this content creating space. Not every live is going to be for me to sit there and listen to. So I, I know, like, I pick and choose what I decide I want to listen to nowadays. Especially if I feel like it's a narrative attached to like CB versus Morel. I love to see it. I'll watch it. Yeah, good fight, dude. We need to be trying to do it. better. Be, yeah, bro. But it's their fault. Uh, people's choice. They don't want to sanction the fight because of the issues with Russia and the Ukraine. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I mean, some of that stuff would be like, uh, you know, I don't defend it though. If something. If he says something, if it's some stuff he said that's out of place, then just know if it's like you know some real stuff then it's out of place i don't defend it but overall what i what i care about is the narratives that's why i think I, a lot of times when i approach a topic people be focusing on something that i might not be thinking about like for me the only thing i ever cared about all of this is the narratives that either of them ducked each other is why the fight didn't happen right now the only narrative the other narratives eight million dollars is a bogus narrative to even push that to make people think that that man Will go from getting paid where he get paid to eight million dollars just like that. Get what I'm saying? So I just hate false narratives for any fighter, no matter who it is. I hate them in boxing because it's no different than what old media do because they do the same exact thing. They create narratives that's damaging to the sport and it's fighters that participate in it. And then people will turn around and tell you they love boxing. See what I'm saying? That's the difference between me and you know, just people. Like I, I really rock with the sport. Narratives are draining, so I don't push them.
You know what I mean? I'm waiting to see better be or be with they ain't going yeah, that's they they need to sanction it, bro. They won't sanction a fight. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? That that's all it was. That's all it was. Cause I know a lot of people be thinking I'm a just no, just do is not justifying like somebody doing something that that all principle or more, you know, morally wrong. Like I'm not going to support it. I'm not even, it's not about support. I'm not going to justify somebody doing something weird. It's just, you know, we can talk about it. I'll call it out, but I ain't going to like demonize them. That's what people be wanting to hear you do. Like they be wanting to hear you tear into fighters like they would, but that's just not my, that's not my, uh, you know, that's not my style. Like the tear into the fighter over them doing something as small as making a decision that they feel like works for them. You get what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that's the only thing, just the narrative. Like I know a lot of other stuff people be talking about. I'm like, I don't be caring about all that stuff. <laughs> the narratives I hate, bro. It's a it's a website now that do that stuff with Wilder. Like they'll say Wilder got knocked out and he ain't even had no fight, but they'll have a whole video saying how he got knocked out. It's weird, like what people do. I always don't want to be yeah, that's what I think too. Uh 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 Bole. So I think they're using that, you know, the 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 issues with Russia and the Ukraine or whatever the case may be to not sanction a fight. And do do don't even live out there. I think one of them from Canada. Forget which one of them live in Canada for real. That's crazy. Salute to people's choice. And, and 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 my bro Joe, man, salute to y'all. But um, yeah, but real quick, something else I I wanted to build on before we got up out of here, y'all. Y'all y'all see Caleb, y'all see sweet hands in the thumbnail. So I did some reading, and y'all we all seen the slap. We all seen the slap, and we feel like that should be the next fight for for both of them because of that. So you know, Caleb Plant. I did some reading Caleb Plant. He won a he won to fight Jamal Charlo, but he said if Jamal Charlo wanna fight him though, he said he can't make him fight if he don't want to. He said take two to tango. He definitely would like Jamal Charlo for his next fight. But you know, he don't know if he won it, basically. You get saying he don't know if Charlo won it. But something else that he said, yeah, that was interesting is Caleb Plan also, not only did he want to fight Jamal Charlo next, if he's willing to fight, he with it. He said a Canelo Alvarez fight is close. He said a Canelo Alvarez rematch is close for him. And he start, they asked him something about Canelo, and he, he said he didn't want to critique him because he said you're not supposed to critique your enemies, he said, especially when he close to getting the fight. So he sounded like he didn't want to rub Canelo the wrong way by saying the wrong thing about him. But... Yeah, he definitely um getting slaps the motivated man to get right. Facts, absolutely, Mike. I now Charlo is back in the ring. I see him doing some work with Roy Jones. Get what I'm saying? I seen him doing some work with Roy Jones, so he is back in the ring, right back in the gym at least, shaking it off a bit. I hope this is his beginning to him getting back back to himself, so he can get himself back in the ring. You know what I'm saying? And he said Fury Wilder four for all the gold. That'd be crazy if they if they pull that off. Caleb is a virtual slapper. <laughs> Right, man. Caleb slapped Canelo. He put hands on Canelo, man. He's doing a lot, right? Doing a lot. But um, but yeah, yeah. So Caleb Plant, yeah, he definitely would like some smoke with Jamal Charlo. Only if he wanted though. You know, he ain't trying to be no bully about it, but he said he definitely would want that fight. And he's he's definitely close to a Canelo fight as well. So that's something that I didn't expect. I didn't hear that. And that's why I said it'd be a lot going on behind the scenes that people don't know about. Who, who know who knows Caleb Plant to be a liar? Nobody, right? So for him to say Canelo Alvarez fight is close for him is crazy. And that'd be a rematch. So and he also had like a see you soon kind of message for Canelo. So let's see if if Caleb Plant is put himself in position to get a rematch with Canelo Alvarez. I think that'd be crazy. You get what I'm saying? First things first, though, Jamal Charlo, if he can get himself all the way back right, I think he do need to square off with Caleb Plant and see where that go. But because despite how people felt about that slap, the fight would play out a lot differently between them two. That would be a damn good fight, and I would love to see it. 
I would love to see it. I just wish Maul wasn't coming off no this longer layoff though. No, if right, 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 Aisha, right. Might be part of his three fight day. Appreciate you, Will. So your boss called you back. Appreciate you, fam. I was in here just wrapping up in that last the last topic for the most part, though, is uh Caleb Plant. You know, being willing, he wants to he wants that smoke with uh Jamal Charlo. We want to fight him. And um if he wants to fight, like he said, it take two to tango. He can't force him in the ring. But he said a Canelo fight, a Canelo Alvarez rematch is close. He said he, you know, he um he didn't want to critique Canelo in a negative fa fashion because uh he said the fight is close. So I didn't expect that. Like I said, um, a little left field for me, man. But um, look, I entertain it. But at the same time, there's, there's just a list of other guys that you would want to see Canelo Alvarez fight. You get what I'm saying? Benavidez being one of them from the rip. So we'll see how it, how all this shake out. It's, it's just a matter of people standing on business. Um, if Charlo is the win, he he gonna, he gonna have a lot of opportunities. You go got a potential immediate rematch with Canelo. You get what I'm saying? Then he got a, a Crawford fight that's potentially looming. Um, he even spoke that he would like to fight a plan or Benavidez at 68. So then you got Bevel talking about he'll come to 68 and fight. You know, Charlo, if he beats Canelo. So it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. I love great fights that lead to other great fights. And I think that's what Charlo and Canelo do because you got a guy that went from 154 to 68 to create legacy for himself. So I think that's that that in turn will create other big fights, whether he win or lose. You know what I mean? He's staying at 68 to give us other fights. That'd be great. But I just don't see him going all the way back down after coming up. But. You know, we've seen stranger things in, in boxing, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see what he do. He's a fight period holding up division at this point, right? He needs he need to do something. And Morel is a dog. Um, Aisha, I love, I love uh, Morel. If Morel, man, if he can get a fight, man, I'd love to see him and Benavidez fight, man. I, I thought they was really going to give us that fight for a second. I really did. <laughs> I really did. But I just want to see Morel back in there because he, he, he a dog and he one of them. I just want to continue to see him get the experience so people can't keep making an excuse about the number of fights that he got, trying to make that as a reason why he don't deserve to get a, a quality fighter in the ring with him. And I ain't trying to hear it. Morel is the goods. You know the goods when you see him, and that man got the goods, bro. He, he's a hell of a fighter. But make no mistake about it, Caleb Plant, Jamal Charlo, that is the fight to make, at, especially after slapping that man and We'll see if he ever do get his rematch with Canelo. He seems to feel like he's close to getting a rematch. We know how to sport a boxing to pick you up and drop you down. So get your hopes up and then don't give you some. So hopefully that is not the case with him. But I thought that was news to me. I didn't hear that, you know, he could be potentially, you know, getting a rematch. I didn't even know that was something that they was even thinking about considering. So. You know, given a first fight did do well, did do good numbers. You know what I mean? I think him and uh Canelo and Caleb Plant did some of some of Canelo's best numbers that he did in a while. So maybe they'll be looking to revisit it for that, you know, with uh Caleb Plant, but he's coming off a loss too over Benavidez. So who knows, man? Who knows? Who knows how they're gonna spin that and sell it? But I say if Caleb Plant was able to get a Jamal Charlo fight, beat him, then it'll kind of create some type of interest, I think, or buzz for people to possibly want to see a rematch. But I don't know if, you know, it. I don't know who's going to fight in between time if it ain't Charlo, right? Because I doubt if he's just going to sit there through two possible Canelo and Charlo fights without taking a fight. So i like to see who K Caleb Plant fight next. You know what I'm saying? i like to see he's still a good fighter. I mean, he pushed David Benavidez to the limit, gave him all he could handle. His gas tank failed him at the end, but he's still a damn good fighter, man. So, and I, and again, everybody doesn't have the style and the relentless pressure of a David Benavidez, so they won't be able to pressure him for 12 rounds the way Benavidez was able to do, which I think then helped him deplete the gas tank of Caleb Plant because he constantly had to move to try to, you know, box and keep this guy off him. Man. You know what I mean? He had to constantly move. Everybody doesn't have that style, so you won't see Caleb Plant gas tank affected in, to that degree in every fight that he has. Like, just case in point, look at him and Anthony Durrell. You didn't see a point in a fight where he looked tired because Anthony Durrell don't apply the same type of pressure Benavidez do. You know what I'm saying? And Caleb Plant already, his natural style, he's a mover, box and move. So you got a guy that's pressuring you, pressuring you. You already box and move. Now he's pressuring you, making you move twice as much. 
So you, you know, you get to the back end of that fight, you got a tendency to be depleted. And, it, and that, you know, what I mean, that's the same, same thing for when you fight Benavidez, man. You got to be, just got to be smart, man. If that gas tank is running on E, you're going to be in trouble to cancel him out for a Canelo rematch. I get you. Yeah, and that's why I say what what's going to really generate that interest and that buzz. What is he? Is it what is it that he's done and who is it that he's beat? Get what I'm saying? Salute to my bro Mike Kirkland, man. Again in the super chat, much love and appreciation, bro. He said, which one happens first in your opinion? Then he is versus Morel Tank versus Jacor. Wow. Hmm. Being honest, man. First, and I would think based on um. What Benavidez said, because he said he got about three fights left at 68. I'll say you got a chance of seeing him and Morel before him and Tank and Shakur, maybe. Simply because of, um, I think the biggest, one of the biggest roadblocks with Shakur and Tank fight being made is Bob Arum. And when he says things like, why would he be looking to make a big fight with Tank Davis? When he got, you get what I'm saying? That makes me think that he will potentially get in the way of that. So I, it, one would question if that fight can be made while Shakur Stevenson is signed to Bob Aaron and under top ring banner. I wonder, right? But I think we might could see Benavidez and Morel before that one. You know what I mean? Definitely. But much love and appreciation to Mike for the love. Appreciate the support, fam. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Can't plant nicknames with three hands. Need a gas tank with a name like that, right? <laughs> Does the, the GG still have a belt? I think I think he relinquished them all. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I think he had let his last belt go not too long ago. I think. Um, I forgot who says they want to fight GGJ. Uh, <sighs> forgot who said they want smoke with GGJ. Uh, John Ryder. John Ryder wants to smoke with GGG. He said he don't care if you got to go to uh, Kazakhstan to fight him, too. He'll go to enemy soil to fight him. Yeah, he said he want to fight Triple G. That's how you know Triple G old, because people calling him out. John Ryder would have never called Triple G out in his prime, in my opinion. And the fact that he's doing it now just lets you know where Triple G is at in terms of his career. He's definitely at the tail end of his career. And I think he mismanaged the back end of his career terribly. I mean, maybe he did good by getting that Canelo fight for a third time. But in terms of creating exciting fights outside of the Canelo situation, he he fell miserably with that. And I, I, the mystique and, and, the, and the hype that surrounded him went with HBO. When HBO went, he is, you know, it's like all his credibility went right with it because he didn't have, he no longer had a, um, a platform and an entity like that, like an HBO, promoting and pushing them so heavily down people's throats. So it's like once they stop, you know, being a part of boxing, it's like a lot of the narrative surrounding Triple G and all that greatest middleweight the last 25 years stuff kind of kind of went by the wayside. But, man, just to wrap up on this one, man, again, it would be interesting to see the fights that Charlo can make if he stays put at 68, not only be successful against Canelo, but stays put at 68 because, you know, you got the Charlo fight looming over his head, like I said, and with, Char with, with Crawford saying, recently saying he's willing to come up to 68 and fight either either Charlo or or, or Canelo is a great fight for boxing. It'd be a damn big risk for um, Crawford as well, but it'd be fun to see, right, if uh, – Charlo wins, you got a Beaver talking about wanting to fight him, right? That'll also be another entertaining fight, right? So you got Canelo, he's in the he the, he the guy, so he can make fights with any of these dudes that he wants. Hopefully Benavidez get a shot one of these days or something, right? Who knows? But um yeah, Caleb Plant said he would like to fight Jamal. Yeah, I would have said what a joke. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, he'd like to fight Jamal Charlo. If Jamal is willing and ready. And he said a fight with a rematch with Canelo Alvarez is close. So he'll be seeing him soon. That's what he said. So Triple G took the his own stock options. <laughs> right, right. And it just fizzled out. It fizzled right out, Bole. He just fizzled out, bro. Fizzled out, man. And um, 
yeah, so let's see what's next for Caleb Plant. I like to see who he fight next. He, he put on a hell of a show against Benavidez. He just fell short. I think his guys tank betray, betrayed him late. Benavidez came on strong, and I think that was the difference in the fight. It was like a tell of two different halves. And then one could say it was a draw because I don't see how, you know, I don't know. I just felt like he controlled that first half of the fight. And David Benavidez got the second half. But, you know, that's how boxing go. Maybe he did have a more convincing round. So we'll see. Shadow Band said Shakur Duck Stevenson. You can have it if you believe that man ducking ducking a guy after uh after going to the sanctioning bodies, getting them to write a letter for him, and then Devin Haney just decided to walk away and never negotiated with him. Like you get, get what I'm trying to say? Like realistic, like being real, just to you know, and I'm wrapping up anyway. Like you can't duck somebody when they make a, a, a offer that's of no substance, according to Bob Aram. Not only that, he still got his team to write up a letter to the sanctioning bodies to make a case for why he deserved more than 25%. I've been saying this for the last couple of days. After he did that, they moved the goalpost to saying that he priced himself out because he's asking for 50-50. Now, today, they're trying to say he turned down $8 million. Tomorrow is going to be another narrative. Like, I hope, like, whatever you do, Shadow Ben, Dan, you 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 get your own information. I suggest look that stuff up for yourself. Don't be duped into like the rhetoric that that's surrounded around tearing fighters down. If there's no duck, like, and this is the part that's that's sad, right? I heard fighters, guys pushing that guys duck Devin Haney, right? And then he got on his very next interview after all these people were saying that these fighters were ducking him. He got on an interview and said none of the dudes are ducking him. So you get what I'm trying to say? Dudes will say a fighter is ducking. They get what I'm saying? But the fighter will say himself, nobody's ducking. You get what I'm saying? So it's weak. You know what I mean? Oh, man, salute salute to my bro, Knockout Boxing 86 TV. I had that, man. I had to. I, I mean, I know a lot of people could, you know, talk it. You know, you know, you know, they 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 pile them facts on. But I think I did a decent job spending talking about this and letting people know that. It's just not possible. I just hope people are are willing to listen and understand. It's, past, it's deeper than being a fan or a supporter of somebody. I hate false narratives. They're not good for the sport. You get what I'm saying? That rhetoric, the false narratives, the tearing down of the fighters. And I'll say this about any fighter. When we got quality in the sport, let's protect the quality in the sport because it, it protects the integrity of the sport. When we so quick to jump and say, all right, duck, 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 it's just not real boxing. You get what I'm saying? Like, you nowadays you're not even allowed you're not even allowed to to negotiate with certain fighters without it being a duck you get what i'm saying and i'm trying to tell you shadow band that 25 percent. i just played that joint that bob rams that had no substance to it so it wasn't nothing really to jump on and again look his only option was if he didn't want to take it to to get to go to his team and get them to write up the letter like he did right that's what he that's his move that he made he's said i'm not taking that i'm not saying no to the fight but i'm not taking that i'm gonna get my team to contact wbo wbc and we're gonna go from there and when he did that he they wrote that letter that detail why he deserved more than 25 percent. and then that man was not willing to negotiate he just went his way and then everybody said ah shakur ducked him that's not logical man and then again they're they're pushing that he turned down eight million dollars and they want you to believe that shakur not only was going to get paid eight million Devin Haney was going to get $25 million, right? When a $33 million pot for a fight where people will tell you neither guy is a big draw, but they're going to grossly overpay them just because people at home came up with some bogus ass numbers that make them sleep good at night. It's the craziest thing that you can ever hear. I'm telling you, I urge anybody think for yourself. This is no disrespect to nobody. I don't do content creator beef but i will shoot down a false narrative anytime it come across my desk i hate them things they're not good for boxing it, it, it ruins the integrity of the sport we got solid fighters that represent this sport well they might not make all the best moves and the moves that we all want them to make but they do represent the sport at a high level and that's what i care about but when you tear down that the product what does that really say about the whole of boxing when we do that with every fighter that's of some substance because he's a threat to the guy that you rock with the heaviest. I rock with boxing as a whole. I want to see everybody win, not just in the ring, in life. I like to see people winning. I don't like to see people tore down. I don't like to see 
people reputations get slung through the mud i don't like it in real life i don't like it in boxing i just don't like it you get what i'm saying man oh uh, you you going live again tonight ko and I, and i was there yesterday and you know ko listen listen bro let me tell you i'm glad i hope you still here right now this is how you know this is how you know you cooking bro and, and the world getting out i get a text message today from my bro, my my brother, he, he probably was listening at some point today. And guess who video he's sending me from last night? Guess who video he's sending me? Probably didn't even know that I already rock with you. I think he know because I told him to look you up and, and sub to your channel. He probably did it already. But he sent me your work. You know what I'm saying? That man ain't going back watching replays or lives, but he watched your joint. <laughs> he sent it to me like, yo, you seen this? I'm like, that's my boy right there. Yeah, I seen it. I was there when he was live. I was listening to you cook. You get what I'm saying? So salute to you, bro. I ain't protection crew here again. Yeah, they be mad, bro. But one, one thing I know, <clears throat> look at that. One thing I know, I never tear down a fighter. You can, uh, my opinion is my opinion. If if a person stopped rocking with me because my opinion is different than theirs, then they never supported me from the rip. Notice the difference between me. I can click a live stream where somebody's going hang on Shakur Stevenson. And I promise you, I'll still salute the host and tell them to cook in cap, all caps. And you, will, you won't hear me type a single thing that goes against what they're saying because I'm not there for that. Me, how just do set up. When I support you, I support you, bro. I could, yeah, my whole train of thought could be 100% different than everything you're saying. That's not what support is. Only there when you're saying stuff I agree with. No. Cooking is cooking. Even if it's different than my train of thought, I ain't going to tell you you ain't cooking. Like, I'm support. I'm going to support you, bro. Nah, man. It, you, you do it. Listen, when my bro sending me random, like, it's, that was random. Send me a live and like, yo, you seen this? And know that you got his ear? He know I seen it because he know he seen the rhetoric, too, and the, the narrative. He was like, yo, you need to see this if you didn't. I, I seen it, though. I was listening. You know what I mean? Salute, salute that man. I always thought he was a sensible dude, man. Always. That's why I'm gonna always rock with him. It only took me one video of his to rock with him because I could tell from his approach on the very first video I watched of his that he was logical and he wasn't about pushing narratives. I haven't heard that man push one narrative. I even hate when people say it to him because I've never heard it. Never heard it, bro. Never heard it. Salute to the real ones. I ain't mad at nobody that is pushing. I'm still going to support the same people I've been. So if I supported you yesterday or a week ago, I'm still supporting you now. I just, I know certain stuff I don't tune into because I, it ain't for me. Every live ain't for me. You know what I mean? I know how to take a back seat and, and go find something else to do than listen to something that I don't want to hear. You get what I'm saying? So salute to the fan, man. But look, man, boxing is always in a great place, man. Uh, hopefully you do, uh, you do hit him, hit him up and holler at him. I think KO is solid as they come on here, man. I, I think I'm a pretty decent judge of character. I ain't perfect, but I know solid when I hear it, man. I, I heard enough videos and content to know that man is solid, bro. That's why I said it took me one video listening to to know I rock with his content. And that's that's how I've been rocking with him since. So I'm going to keep rocking with him. And salute to everybody that continues to support the grind, man. We're going to keep pushing and growing, putting out these great bills, man. You already know, Shaw, appreciate you. Appreciate the support as well, Queen. Salute to you, and you make sure you have a great night, man. But KO, you already know I'm going to be tuning in, checking you out. You know what I mean? I believe, you You know, I got, I got a couple of the family sub to you, so they be check, they'll be checking you out for sure, man. Um, I'm just going to keep building, man. And I and I watch people I could learn from, so I could tune in to KO's show because I could learn, so. And I'm a student of this shit, so I don't know it all. And I ain't going to never get up here and act like I do. It's always something to learn, man. Trying to get KO on Team Crawford. <laughs> Cole Bain, salute, fam. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. It be, he say it's how I'll be working, man. He be on it, man. Salute to KO. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. I ate your peace to the clean as well. And my bro, Thomas, man. You already know. You already know we just gonna keep building, man. We're gonna keep building. I just gotta, I got what what I realized a while back, a while back, you know, I got a um more of a you know easy going approach. I know it's a lot of people that like it, you get what I'm saying? And it's gonna be a lot of people that don't. So I'm only concerned about the people that's rocking with me, not nothing else. Anything else I could care less about. Cuzzo, you already know, appreciate you, cuzzo. Much love and appreciation. But, man, y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all. Good Thursday, man.
appreciate you because it was always this another one in the books we just gave boxing is just do how we do all the time man anybody in the building if y'all haven't checked out um the good brother jay hardcore at hardcore boxing news man y'all go check him out he's a good dude great show great energy great content creator y'all go check him out if y'all can man if y'all got time go smash the like button for him tell him i said what's up tell him i sent you man tell him just do say what up you know what i mean y'all go check out the bro hardcore boxing news if y'all can with jay hardcore and y'all already know uh ko gonna be on later but well peace to all the family man salute peace and blessings to the fam we gonna get up out of here to the next one y'all already know we right back at it tomorrow four o'clock our time so with that we gonna get up out of here y'all peace Thank <laughs> you.